Greetings, everybody. Um, hopefully somebody's going to call in tonight, like they did last week. It'll be fun. I see Strider, you're on the line. You care to join in and add anything on here? I'm all ears. Uh, and uh, other than that, I can uh, play some audios. I think I can come up with something to play until more people come on the call. But I see you on mute, Strider, so have at it, brother. <laughs> How's it going, Batman? How's it going, Batman? It's going. It's yeah. Not just, much I uh, can do about it. It's going. Yeah, I, I just got yeah, back from court, a little, back from court a little while ago. Cool. How'd it go, man? Well, it never well, made it, it in. Never court. made it in. Court. Oh, court's happening right now, brother. We're in court <laughs> right now. It's all off for an acceptance. It's... Yeah. Well, um. Uh-oh. I had been, attempt, I had been attempting. I'm getting, I'm getting excellent feedback. Oh well, I'm not sure what I can do about that. Let's see. I'll try this. It could be me. I got too many. You know, like the Joker said, "Where's he get those toys?" But mm-hmm. that any better? Let's see. Yeah, I don't hear myself now. Cool. All right. Um. Well, I had been I had been trying to get um law firm had contacted me and said you know about a credit card and everything and um I had sent a letter out and basically the court date was scheduled off the letter that I had sent out. So, I no biggie. Um I'd been trying to contact them for for 3 weeks calling over there and yada yada trying to you know just get this thing you know, get this thing settled, make, you know, make, let them know where I stand and everything, and um, no answer, no response, and... That's hey, good. That, mean, that means they agree with you. Yeah. Well, today I showed up, and, you know, before they do anything, they, um, you know, they, they, they try to meet with everybody individually, so, you know, see if they can settle the matter. So they called out the name, and I stood up, and I said, you know, you can call me, and I used, you know, the first name I answered to, and um, we went in a little room there, and the first thing out of my mouth was, um, are you are you the individual that I allegedly owe a debt to? Yeah. <laughs> and that he, fucked him up. And he, 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 he sort of looked. He sort of looked at me. Um, he sort of looked at me funny and goes, "No," and I said, "Well, is that person going to be here? You know, is that is that individual going to be here?" And he said, "Well, they're 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 on the way," and I said, "Great," because um, you know, because I, I said because um, I think I can't remember where I, I sent you the audio, and um, yeah, I I, like, I haven't had only, time to listen to it. Of course, I know you were getting ready for this. Um. It's only eight minutes long, but eight minutes was all was, was all that was needed. Don't um, take much. <laughs> no, and um, you know, he, it, um, the nice man, you know, said, um, you know, said no. I said, well, you know, is the is the is the individual who is the individual I owe the debt to going to be here? Because um, you know, we're we're going to need firsthand we're going to need firsthand knowledge and testimony, aren't we? Well, and he's like, we, you gave him a negative, but anyway, go ahead. I, I don't know if I did or not. I have to listen back. Um, and he goes, and he goes, well, they're on the way. And I'm like, really? Okay, that's cool. And um, so he he starts looking through the file, and he's it's very obvious that he had never read it before because he actually looked at me and was like, I need to read this. Oops. <laughs> and I I basically sent a letter asking, um, basically saying stuff like, you know, who who has a claim to the name? Are you going to use that name as personal identification? Basically just ran down, ran down the gamut of, I just threw a whole bunch of information out there. And I was, while he was reading this, I was looking at him. I was trying to look at his eyes. And yeah. he, was, he was shaking his head a lot. And my oh, yeah. wife, but my my wife was looking at his body language, and she said when he got when he got about halfway done with the letter, his hands started shaking. Uh oh. 
So, so why he, would uh, I go before the judge with this? <laughs> you know, and, and so you, you, you'll hear on the tape that I, I just I kept bringing up. I'm like, look, you know, he said he said, well, are you denying you ever had a credit? Are you denying you ever had a credit card? And, and I said, I said, I'm not denying it. I'm, you know, you know. I said, do you see me denying anything? I'm not denying that I have a credit card. All I'm asking is, is the person who I allegedly owe a debt to going to be here to provide firsthand knowledge and testimony? Yeah, that's all that matters. Fuck the rest of it. And I mean, I just stuck to that. And he went and he he basically started. Um, after he read that letter, he went and read another letter that I had written. And you could see that the wheels started turning. <laughs> and he starts pulling out other paperwork. And the next thing out of his mouth is, are you in the middle of a bankruptcy right now? And I said, I don't. I, 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 you'll hear it on the audio. I'm like, I don't know. Um, did, you have, uh, did you have a bankruptcy? I said, um, I said, well, there was a bankruptcy done on that name in so 07. Strider, Strider, you need to talk to the Batman more because first off, are you? I would ask him, what do you mean by you? Was, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well, listen, talk. listen to what I said. I said, I said, I said, I'm, you know, I'm aware that there was a bankruptcy done on that name, and I said, <laughs> I, I said that name twice. You know, and you know, he just proceeded on, and basically, from what I get, this is what I believe, not what I can prove. Right. I believe when he saw bankruptcy there, he was looking for an out because he goes, he goes, you know, because if there's a bankruptcy, we can't proceed. If, if there's a bankruptcy open, we can't proceed. We can't proceed with this. And well, he started. Then, and, yeah, right there, I would have said, well, if that's what you believe, I mean, what are we doing here? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I told him. I said, he, he said, are you in the middle of bankruptcy? I said, you, I said, wouldn't you, you know, would you know better than me? I said, this, you know, this, this isn't my world, you know, the, w- would you know this better than me? And he's like, he's like, okay, I can see here on the second page you're not in a bankruptcy, and uh, the bankruptcy was discharged already and everything. Okay, so that's not a problem. And then he stayed quiet a little. He stayed quiet, and I think you hear me say again, look, the only, th- the only reason I'm here is I'm asking questions, and the one question I want to ask is, is the person, is the damaged party here? Are they going to be here to testify that, that I owe them a debt? And very shortly after that, he starts looking through the paperwork again, yada, 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 yada. And then you hear him on the tape go, okay, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to be dismissing this. Dismissing it? Why? (laughs) Why would you want to dismiss it? Why do you want to put it in escrow? What evidence do you have that there's a controversy here? Would it be better to discharge it? Yeah. Well, here's here's the issue. He, He said... You'll hear on the audio. He says, "He goes. I'm. He goes. Uh, I'm looking at your. I'm looking at the letter that you, that you sent. And I've seen this before." He goes, and um, he goes. There's going to be some one of pe- some people who are going to want to look at this, and you know, I'm pretty sure. You know, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be reopened again. That, oh, that, that uh, I would ask him. You tell me it's out of your pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> so. So they, they, you know, I saw, you know, went outside, sat down there, and they gave me a little piece of paper to, to memorialize the event, saying that, um, saying that it was dismissed without prejudice, which you know means that you know it can, this can come up again. But I've never. This is this is the first time I've never dealt with this. I've never done this before. Unlike experience, there, brother. It was, what? what? I said, there's nothing like experience. Oh yeah, I mean now I, you know, now I know that you know the, the you know, I mean I've been, we've talked on and off for over a year now, you know, and yeah. now I can honestly, now I can honestly say that, you know, when when you know what's going, you know, when you know what's going on and you let them know what's going on, they when drop you back. Believe, when you believe you know what's going on, but the thing yeah. of it is. What the fuck do I know? That's why I'm asking the questions. Yeah. You know, yeah. somebody got a claim and, and believes I I'm creating a controversy. Well, let's meet them. <laughs> Could it be that simple? Yeah. I mean, it. You know, it. It looks. It was. It was rather easy. I mean, it was. It, if it if it would have been boxing, if it would have been boxing, you know, 
the, it seemed that the that this this person was on the roof. He didn't have a chance. No, it was that first the first question out of my mouth. I mean, he, he got really defensive. Really defensive. Oh yeah, they'll do that, but they don't know what to do. But the point of the matter is, people fail to realize they hold all the cards, and these yeah, guys yeah. coming at them have none. They're, yeah, they're they're, they're, they're it's smoking mirrors. Their, yeah, they're defending a fiction. And it, yeah, it's only well, real if you believe it is. Well, that's what he told me. He's like, well, you know, we're going to, you know, this will probably be opened again, and then what we'll do is we'll bring in people, we'll, we'll bring in people from, and then he named the bank and, every, yeah, and everything. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, or, oh. and I, I think you'll hear me ask him on, on the tape, are they going to have firsthand knowledge of, it, of any of this? Yeah, that's that's all, man. That's all it is. And if the judge goes see, I think that's where people have been missing, been doing this stuff. They let that lawyer speak, and they fail to bring it before the judge. Judge, are you going to make an order on first-hand knowledge, or are you going to do it on hearsay? Yeah. Well, it didn't. Up, well, the thing of it is, a lot of them orders for foreclosure and whatnot, I believe if the individual brought that point up before the judge, there'd be no sheriffs knocking at the door. Well, do you think do you think they would even need to bring it up before the judge? I mean, if they bring it up before the yeah. lawyer. Yeah. Then... Well, yeah, and hopefully it won't go any farther than that. But if it does get before the court and they see a need to figure they're going to get you, you know. He Fucking lays, hammer that point. Yeah, he lays a trap, she'll surely fall in it, see. Yeah, I mean, I went in there, I, I went I went to talk to that lawyer with, I, I, I only went in there with one, there was one thing, first-hand knowledge, first-hand knowledge, first-hand knowledge. And I asked him, I said, I, at one point I asked him, I said, um, you know, if you don't have first-hand knowledge, is the judge going to rely on hearsay testimony? He goes, well, I don't know what the judge is going to do. Yep, he don't. <laughs> Some of them will. Some of them will call your bluff. See, yeah. the judge, I try to tell people, I believe the judge is the head banker, man. Yeah. You know, and he's got to, you know, he's the one who's going to make the final decision. He's going to either call your bluff or he's going to know you're telling the truth. See? Yeah. Right. I mean, I, I was... I was prepared for that too, but you know, just I mean, this is this is my only experience so far, and um, I was I was very I was very happy with what, what I got. Batman, old Batman ain't as fucking crazy as everybody thinks he is. Isn't he? That's what's funny is me, me and my wife were walking out of the court building, and I turned to her as soon as we clear, I, as soon as we clear the doors, I look at her and I go, "Yeah, that Batman's an old drunk, ain't he?" <laughs> <laughs> But it was a lot. It was a lot of fun because it was, um, you know, having my wife in there just to, um, you know, just as a witness and everything. Yeah. And, um, it, got, you know, while he's reading, we're like feeling glances at each other, and she, she's just like, "What the hell? This guy's like on the, this guy's on the ropes. This is <laughs> like, does this guy know his job?" <laughs> oh, they know their job. Oh, they know. Yeah, he, he you know, they're. Just, you know, I, what I assume is that it's so infrequent that they, you know, that, that someone calls their bluff that when it happens, they, you know, are, are probably a little shocked. The thing of it is, the majority of people out there think they own something. Yeah. And that's what beats them. They beat themselves. Them guys yeah, are just doing a job. I call them the left hand of God, man. You want to claim ownership? Here's the tax. Pay it. You think you own it? If you own nothing, how can you ever pay a tax? You know? If you, own nothing, the, if you own nothing, how can you pay anything? There you go. I'm using it, man. Where's the problem? Where, where was you when I started using it? I mean, that's exactly... And, and, I mean, that's that's for... I mean, you can use this for a car. You can use it for a house. I mean, it's like, okay, where... Show me... When is the person going to show up and testify that, that lost $150,000 and knows, and knows, and knows firsthand... And knows firsthand anything about this. What's money? Yeah. Is money just an illusion? It gives somebody think they got they're a little better off than somebody else because they got more pieces of paper. Huh? Uh, uh, it appears that way. Hello, S. Mississippi. Anytime you want, join in here. Unless you got more to talk about there, Strider. It's good hearing from you, brother. Well, it was 
it was um your the call you did last week with um with with the two guys from uh who had come over from the Gordon Hall show. Yeah, that was Yeah, that was a good that, that was that was that was one of the more fun calls I've heard in a while and um I downloaded it and put it on the phone and um I was I listened to that a couple times this week and it just it just hammered home the I mean you re- the, did a, that, that call did a really good job of hammering home, you know, first-hand knowledge, first-hand knowledge, first-hand knowledge. Where the hell is the person who has the claim? Yeah, stay on point. Yeah. That's all buyers. I, 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 I agree. Greetings, Batman. Greetings. I didn't mean to interrupt. It sounds like y'all were on to something really good. I just called in, and I agree with the uh, the uh, speaker at the uh, who's speaking at the moment. He's been known Excellent to, job. He's been known to answer to Strider there, uh, S. Mississippi. You sound familiar. What do you usually answer to? Uh, let's see. Uh, today's Thursday. Thursday will work. <laughs> All right, that'll work. Thursday. Glad I you answered, joined the call. I answer to the dinner bell every day. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I told him one time, my mama calls me Sonny and my daddy calls me asshole. Pick one. <laughs> you had a confused childhood as well, I see. I don't know. I confused somebody, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, that's excellent, Strider. It's, like I say, it's been a while since I heard from you. Yeah, well, when you, um, when you, um, Get a chance to listen to that audio and everything. You can um, definitely shoot me, shoot gotta, me some. Cr- I, I got to see if I can play that. Let's see if I can play it. You, do you mind if I play it? Well, the only thing I'm worried about is I. He never says the name I use, but I I I, I say the first name that he uses three, three times. Oh, I mean, I don't I don't mind if you I don't mind if you play it, but um yeah I just I don't know if you if you worried about that at all. Uh, why would I worry about anything? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I'm I mean, asking you. If I gave a shit, I just wouldn't even bought it up. Now, would I? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, yeah, if you want to, um, if if you want to, I guess that, I guess that's fine. All right. Or would you rather I edit it before? Yeah, but probably. I, that'd probably be. That'd probably be better. Why, if, didn't if, you, yeah. just, why didn't you just fucking say so then, huh? Uh, because I'm fucking flip flopping over here. <laughs> it's cool. I'll save it for another time. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean, All I right. just don't. You know, throwing throwing the name someone uses out there like that is not um not cool. But it's only like um. What do you mean? The name I, bet, is, I bet you tend to one. There's a lot of people that answer to the same sound. Oh, yeah. uh, absolutely. But um. Yeah, it's only like I, I, I mentioned his name twice in like the first ten seconds, and then once in like the last twenty seconds. So then names names aren't even brought up after that. <laughs> in between that. Yeah, the point of it is, see, the lawyer's just there representing a fiction, and the fiction if it shows up, holy shit, we're we're farther down the rabbit hole, I think, than we realize. <laughs> yeah. One thing I noticed, one thing that that I noticed, my wife noticed it more than I did, was um, as they were calling names, there was a hell of a lot of dismissal. You know, we were like, you know, and, you know, not dismissal. If if someone was in bankruptcy, they would mention, oh, the person's in bankruptcy, but it was like dismissal, dismissal, dismissal. And I'm like, I wonder if I wonder if people are catching on to some things out there. Could be. Or... Interesting. Yeah, I read a uh, uh, what you call it a uh, the Batman mention in the uh, what is it the uh, the people from up there in Canada oh, in, yeah. on, a, on a recent post that I got the other day, and uh, VRB agreed with the Batman. Imagine that. Cool. Oh, Chief, you talking about Chief? Uh, no, uh, ha- Hallo. Oh, oh, Hallo. Uh, Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Bob, yeah. Bob, uh. Hello's Vic Beck. Vic Beck, I mean, yeah, Vic Beck. Yeah. Right, uh-huh. 
And uh, I've talked to him, and he kind of blew me off a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. He he always struck me as wanting to, you know, he figured he got beat out of something. Until he gets over that, man, there, to me, there wasn't much sense talking with him, you know. Well, maybe he's coming around. Who knows? Yeah, well, I've, uh, I, you know, uh, I've, I've been on their site. And I get a newsletter on updates on your uh, uh, through the uh, they put out free member pages, and I yeah. just read you know what goes on amongst the people you know that contact them, and uh, you know it's just like you know the same thing that you that you're conducting uh, that's being conducted here with you know the ide- ideas being passed around and just talk you know yeah yeah cool what else is there. I don't, I don't know. Today's Thursday, so I I, I got to wait and see what's left, you know? Yeah. Well, uh, if you're waiting on tomorrow, man, I'm told tomorrow never comes. So I'll be that then. Unless you rub her in the right places. But then again, that's another story. Yes, yes. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Well, that's good. Thanks for adding that in there. I, I, I like to hear that because I think a lot of uh, Vic Beck, he... He helped me realize a lot of things with the monopoly and all that. Yes, huh? Mm-hmm. It, 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 things clicked, you know, and we all learn from one another, man. Well, that that's what it is, I believe, is that, you know, uh, through uh, my experiences, I don't have the whole package. I have bits and pieces, and, you know, just like anything else, like when we was kids, you played marbles. In order to have to play a marble game, you needed other players. Yeah. I used to take all their marbles at one time. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember the introduction of the ball baron in Marble Ring. Yeah. That was the, <laughs> ki- that, that was the killer, you know? See that have quite an effect on the rest of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some people call in here, man. Let's freaking pass the jug. You know, let's have some fun. Yeah, you had a lively uh, uh, event last week. They had a lot of good information being passed around. I th- yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Cool. It's still early, but. We got a few people I see online here. It's just uh, most of them are on the computer. And call in. Don't be bashful. Either that or I'll have to start singing, and I don't know if anybody wants that. <laughs> Only, I uh, guess, 10. Only seven on board. The road less traveled. Yeah, could very well be. Nashville, wasn't that one of the uh, seven dwarfs? Are you insinuating I'm a dwarf? No, I, I just asked when you said, don't be bashful. So. Well, yeah, bashful. No, bashful was allegedly one of the seven dwarfs. That's right, because I know yeah. I got a grumpy hat, you know. Yeah, well, I wear that time to time, too, you know. Yeah, come on, Larry B. 2010. Jump in here, speak up. Tell me some good news. I like that some of these guys like this. I want to hear good news. Larry? Anyway. Uh-uh. But yeah, that, I, I put that one call in the call. Uh, you guys listened to the Gordon Hall show last week? Uh, no, I didn't. No. Well, it came. I came on after. I got in there late and I talked with this uh, guy. I forget what he goes by now or answers to. But he put it on his site. He thought he had. He's cool, man. I forget. Uh, Curtis. Yeah. Curtis. Yeah. Well, I heard that one because there's there's two on uh, the talk shoe page. Uh, one for the twenty second and one twenty for the twenty third. Yeah, the only thing I had a problem with, it's listed on his, uh, or the website or whatever he uses, uh, 
that it's the dark night and now there's a dark night out there it goes by dark night but it was batman right but other than that uh but people figured that out it's no big deal but other than that yeah i love that guy i love everybody but curtis man he's cool we had yeah, he, he he sounded sharp yeah huh yeah we had some good calls man uh, yeah, uh, I believe so anyway. And, uh, yeah, there, there was a gang of people calling. It was uh, it was it was quite lively. All good, man. It's like I look at it. If the, if there's anything true and correct about the New Testament and Revelation, it says two thirds of the world's gonna die off. And I've come to the conclusion that two thirds of the worlds are the ones that think they own something. And they're going to kill each other off fighting over it. So what more can we do other than tell them what we believe and sit back and watch them do what they need to do? Huh? Yeah, that yeah. that sounds that sounds like the uh, game plan because it seems that the uh, the participants that are making war, they've been going at it for quite some time, so I don't see them stopping anytime soon. Yeah. Yeah, ever stop to say, hey, brother, I was using it. If you needed that bad, take it. I'm sure I can find something else to get me by, you know? Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think if you're breathing, you got all you need. And, and, you know, I'm still trying to wrap my head around that concept. You know, thoughts occur. But, uh, yeah. yeah. But really, what else more do you need? Can you enjoy the moment? That, you know, that breathing is part of it, because if you weren't breathing, I guess you wouldn't be using the body. But then again, if the body was dead, is the spirit still there? Is the spirit still working? I mean, who the fuck knows? Do I get there and come back? I mean, what can I say? Yeah, well, I agree with that. I, 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 I've i always been, you know, uh, thought that, you know, what what causes death is the lack of oxygen. You know? could, so, uh, could death be the lack of freaking wanting to continue that that might play into it as well yeah who knows huh so we've experienced it and we may have experienced it's just we have short-term memory loss i don't remember (laughs) it was we got guest 11 larry has yet to speak up guest 11 anytime you want go on jump in here hey good evening guys is it or is that just one's opinion (laughs) <laughs> or could it be it depends on what side of the planet you're on I mean, this, you is wanna... <laughs> this is true this is true how's everybody so, doing anyone I can <laughs> I don't know about the rest of you <laughs> greetings everyone Larry you got something greetings. you want to greetings beautiful I love it guess 11 you got something you want to tell us something you did that you learned from <laughs> Uh, I'm learning every day or trying to, you know. Um, I asked about the past. I didn't say what you're doing now. I said, anything you, never mind. Go ahead. I'm <laughs> uh, you know, just just uh, trying to learn. And um, I keep listening to the uh, listening to the calls, the Batman calls. And, uh, and uh, you know, I've been... Pretty much uh, going down this road for about the last 13 years, I guess, and uh, talked with you before, Batman, and uh, and uh, trying to uh, kind of piece it all together. I kind of come full circle. I started out, uh, you know, kind of fighting the whole thing, you know, and uh, I've kind of come to the realization that it's not about it's not about fighting. It's about, it's, well, in my humble opinion, just kind of accepting. Yeah. Could it be fighting yeah. is you just realize you was beating yourself? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it it would seem that way. And uh everything's uh seems to be an uphill battle, uh, you know, trying to acquire things and acquire uh you know, quote unquote ownership and uh and then I I happened on one of your calls, somebody pointed me in your direction and um, you know, always being open to new things, you know, and, and, uh, going down different rabbit holes, uh, gave you, gave you a listen and it really resonated with me because I thought, you know, 
I heard a long time ago, if it's complicated, it's not the truth, you know. And everything else was, uh, matter of fact, j- just before I came uh, about uh, your information, I had um, somebody had uh, made me privy to uh, uh, the, the trust information. Who's the uh, guy that was doing the trusts? Um, Christian Walters, I believe it was. I, I think I spoke with him a time or two. Yeah, started going down that route, and it, you know, it it seemed to make a lot of sense at the time, but it was just so complicated and 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 so involved, and I thought, you know, it just it just didn't it just didn't set right, it just didn't feel right, you know. And then uh, I happened on you, and I started listening. And I said, man, this is you know, this <laughs> this is kind of a culmination of everything that I've been learning over about the last you know twelve thirteen years, and. Uh, and so I've been listening ever since and trying to glean a little bit here and a little bit there. And uh, I I know that uh, you were talking about Boris. Um, yeah, I listened to a couple calls with Boris, and I, I listen whenever I can between uh, between living and uh, living life. And uh, and you know it was uh, I, I really haven't had an opportunity to to kind of follow up and and and. Um, and and see what's been going on in his world and uh, uh i don't is there any update on him and where he's at and uh, as far as i know he's being patient okay well that's good and it's there's still you know i think he has yet to tell him exactly what he wishes for uh, i think that's maybe the next step but until he knows what he wants you know to, what he really wishes for I think, you know, they're keeping them on the back burner. You know, like I try to tell people, these guys are the gatekeepers, man. They ain't just letting anybody through to the gates of heaven. You either are or you're not, you know? Yeah, exactly. And uh, I'd say Boris, he'll be all right. It's just a matter of time. It, it, would you happen to know, too, is I'm um, curious as to whether or not Wendy is still in her house. Is she... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I just talked with her tonight. Uh, Did you? You mentioned it. Yeah, we was talking. She still, she moved back in, and she's still using the place. <laughs> Good for her. Yeah. They yeah, took, I, they took the car she uses, and we discussed that a little bit tonight. But, uh, but other than that, I think she's doing all right. Good. She gave all her money to her. She was telling us she gave all the money she had to use to her, her daughter for her grandchildren. And then she's walking down the road. I think she gave 10 pounds or something, she said. You know, over there they call them pounds instead of dollars, I guess. And then she's walking down the road visiting her friends, which her friends gave her something to eat here and there and had a good time, I guess. Well, I, I, I look at it like she had a good time. And she's on her way home, and she found 15 pounds just floating down the sidewalk, I guess. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, you know, you get what you put out. Interesting. I thought it was a beautiful story. But, yeah, she's doing good as far as I know. She's still in the place, and she's still got internet. So who can ask for more, I guess? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the lifeline anymore. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, yeah, it's a shame. It's We've come to this in one respect. Right. But, you know, I, like I'd say a lot of times, if it wasn't for the internet, man, I'd be talking to myself. Because the majority of people around here, I'd start talking like this, and most of them can't wait till I shut up. You, know? <laughs> you gotten kicked off any calls lately? <clears throat> I haven't. I I haven't been on them lately. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to get kicked off, I guess, if you're not on them. True. I've Skyped it. I mean, I, I've gotten the chats and stuff, but... Uh, no, not lately. Uh, you know, more and more... Go ahead. Sorry. I'm sorry. Well, you know, more and more, I... It just... Uh, things seem really odd. I, uh, I, I go through bills, and uh, it just seems as though, you know, money is just kind of a, uh, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but, it, or, or the, 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 
you want my opinion on what money is? Yeah. If I own such a thing, money is a tool. You can yeah. either love it, the love of money, they say, is the root of all evil, or you can use it. Like I try to point out to people, you ever watched the old uh, movie with Earl Flynn when he played Robin Hood? Uh, yeah, I think uh, yeah, I've, I've seen bits and pieces of it. Old, you're talking, you know, back in the 30s, right? Errol Flynn. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, way back when. Way back. Yeah. Is, he was taking money, alleged money, from people hoarding it because everybody used silver and gold to do commerce, and they were impeding commerce. So he was getting, you know, trying to keep the river flowing. Keep it flowing, yeah. Currency. Yeah, and what's yeah. the difference between Robin Hood and the IRS? Yeah. Tell people that, or, you know, and all of a sudden, I'm a communist or something. Well, maybe I am. <laughs> Point of the matter is, what is money's main purpose? To use or to hoard? Well, and, and I think that that's where inflation comes from, too, because if they didn't inflate the currency, then people would just stuff their mattresses. And this way, you know, back uh, 40 years ago, you know, my folks bought their first house for like 10 grand, you know, and, uh, you, you know, you couldn't buy, you can't even buy a car for 10 grand anymore, you know. And uh, so that's why they got to keep inflating the currency to keep people out there, keep them productive, keep them working. Keep them you know? in commerce. Because Keep they them in believe money, yeah, if they believe money means something. That's right. It's the love of money. Could it be? The thing of it is, if you really stop and look at what's happening with so-called money, it's like in the Old Testament, when when the so-called Israelites was out in the wilderness. It's the mammon. You take what you need and eat it. Don't store it, because it ain't going to be worth shit tomorrow. Right. That's all money is, is mammon. It's there to use at the moment to get what each other needs. See? That's the way I kind of look at it. And if you're storing it up, how many people, you know, save money and wind up figuring they freaking should have used it when they had the chance? Yeah. You know? It happens every day, man. People, oh, I got this and that. Yeah, you got shit, brother. You got what you need. That's the only question, if you ask me. Then I ask, are you breathing? And they say, yeah, well, could it be you got what you need? Right. Makes sense. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we just got to grow up, man. We're, you know, I'm still growing up. I still do stupid shit. Uh, I guess for me, it's... You know, it, it's it's the application. You know, I mean, the 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 theory. Uh, I think I'm kind of after a number of years, I'm finally kind of starting to, uh, uh, you know, kind of understand or get a or what I think I believe I'm I'm beginning to understand, and I could be completely off base, but. Finally, getting to the point where I I can kind of see this the you know, the matrix kind of a thing or what have you. It looks like it's just like a, a humongous jigsaw puzzle, you know. And you're putting little pieces together here and there, and it's finally starting to look like something, you know. Hello. But the, but the problem is just trying to uh, you know figure out how you fit into that big puzzle. <laughs> you know? I get over trying to figure out how I fit in. I'm here. <laughs> I am here. I'm sorry, go ahead. Saying something there Thursday or Tuesday or whatever the f you answer to. I lose no, everybody. Here's the point, you know. The problem is we're always looking to the future because we're not appreciating the moment. It's, yeah, I think you're you're onto something there. Think about it. Now, if you're enjoying the moment, who gives a shit about the future? Case sera, sera. You ever heard that song? Yeah, that's why they call it the present, because it's a gift from God, right? Well, you either enjoy the present, you can try to claim ownership of it, 
by looking into the future, or you can look at the past saying, boy, did I fuck it up. I mean, it's your choice. I'm learning more and more every day. Enjoy the moment. I mean, what else is there? Right. Yeah, it's the um, trying to the 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 moment. You know, I I know exactly what you're saying, but at the same time, you know, everybody is. You know, I mean, even if you know the way the system is set up and and with the ownership and everything else. Oh, oh, uh, who set up the system? Is the system set up the way you believe it is? And if that's true, could it be you're the one who set up the system? I'd have to think about that one. What do you have to do? You have to do, brother. What can I tell yeah. you? Yeah. Points to ponder. You gave me more to think about. Man. I gave you, or did you already have it, brother? <laughs> it's there. I just, I just rang the din- dinner bell, brother. You knew the food was there. You, just, you didn't know it was ready to eat. Huh? <laughs> well. Sounds like a mighty deep subject for such a shallow mind. That's right. <laughs> exactly. I just busted. Well, you know, you, you start going down this uh, this path, and, and it really opens up, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's really difficult to, I mean, we, uh, my wife and I, we've been kind of doing a lot of research and studying together for, you know, more years now than I, I can remember, but uh, we've gotten to a point where, well, I've gotten to a point where um, it's really hard for me to kind of go back to that whole old mindset the uh you know what i like to call a kind of a statutory mindset i guess or what have you well it's, it's yeah. that's what you believe go for it i keep yeah. trying to ask most people i talk to i try to ask them this before we get into a conversation i try to ask them do you know who the problem is <laughs> right off the it's, bat i can tell what i'm dealing with that one question in the mirror isn't it well, is it the mirror? Standing is in front it, of the mirror, right? Yeah, or is it the man in front of the mirror? <laughs> Go. You're learning, brother. I love yep. it. Well, I believe you are anyway, if that matters. <laughs> <It> was, yeah. <laughs> well, you, know, when, you know, what we do, it's so easy to blame somebody else for where we're at, but did you ever think about how did I get here? Right. The choices. I like that old George Jones song, Choices. You ever heard that one? That old tune. Didn't you post? Didn't you post that one before? I could have. I might have played it. I wanted to talk to you or something. Yeah. Well, it's like George Carlin says. He says, uh, "Don't sweat the petty stuff and don't pet the sweaty stuff." I don't know. Sometimes petting the sweaty stuff can be fun. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well, that's. Uh... Everybody's entitled to their opinion. What can I say? So, uh, your mind in in what you know, this is where it's actually more difficult to actually come up with questions that are relevant and that are that are are uh, logical. Well, you know, to, logical to, to, is that one's perception? Are you going by the traditions of men? Are you looking at the nature, everything that's happening around you and realizing, hey, what's the better way? That's the $64,000 question, isn't it? Is it? Or do you already have the answer? You just don't want to admit you've been an asshole your whole life. Could that be? Oh. Yeah, well, I've admitted that my, a couple of times, but, uh, you know, the, internalizing it, that's the other thing. Hey, brother, I 
am an asshole. There's no <laughs> doubt in my mind if I own such a thing. And if it is, what am I going to do about it? You know? Right. I'm going to keep blaming others for the position or the so-called lot in life. That reminds me of C-3PO. Oh, it's our lot in life. <laughs> Remember, you ever watch that Star Wars movie? Yeah. C-3PO, the robot there, with r 2 d Dude, they're going through the desert. Oh, it's my lot in life to suffer. Well, if that's what you believe, who am I to argue? Right. You know, they tell us so much. But we already know it. The thing of it is, are we, I, I hate using the term paying attention, but for lack of a better phrase, are we paying attention? I'd love to pay if I owned anything, but, you know. Yeah, the play on words there is uh, pretty phenomenal when you start looking at the uh, the uh, language that we use every day. Language. We, that we take Here for granted. Is. Languish. You ever hear languish? Yeah, languish, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, you know the reason why we speak to one another and we don't have, like, I call the universal internet, where we can just communicate with, you know, just by our thoughts? Because, in my opinion, we're guilty and we don't want anybody else to know we know we're guilty. Think about it. That's true, and it really is key in asking questions, you know, because it was mentioned about that uh, word relevant. I asked the judge today because he said, <clears throat> he stated that my, my questions wasn't relevant answers. So I just relevant? asked a simple question. Yeah, so I asked the question, what, what, what is relevant? What do you mean by relevant? Relevant to what? <laughs> yeah, he, he was solid. So, you know, so, you know. Once you, you start listening and actually really listening and paying attention, you know, because words are thrown out there, and it's all, like I said, it's all for, I look at it as, man, everything that is just like a tool for teaching. And you just ask questions like, a, you know, like my little son. Just ask questions. I did, this, did the same thing today. Just He said, well, you know, you're, your, uh, you know, your questions are not relevant answers. And like I said, the simple thing: what do you, what is relevant? He went silent. <laughs> and so, and, and that's the key. Well, for me, is been because I listen to, you know, a lot of the back calls, and you know, but the key is when you're actually in there and in that position of really, you know, putting the rubber to the road, so to speak. In my opinion, that's when you can really really start to appreciate that this thing is it's not a theory it's really it's the reality the reality is they're looking for a meeting of the minds and if yeah. you agree with what the judge's opinion is well pay the bill all the judge is there is giving opinions and it's seeing how you respond Bill Clinton did it beautiful I keep going back to good old Slick Willie there yeah. <laughs> it depends what your definition of it is. One simple question and one little word. And guess what? Everything stopped. Could it be that simple? They tell us. It's right in our fucking faces. But no, it can't be that simple, huh? Well, I know more than that. Can't be that simple. I know what is means, do you? Do you know? You might know what is means, but does the guy you're talking with know what is means? That's the question. Where's the meeting of the minds? Do you know what they're thinking? And the only way to find out what they're thinking, could it be by asking them what they're thinking? Exactly. that make any sense, boys and girls? <laughs> <laughs> Too simple, huh? You guys want to send me $500,000 and everything like that? Hey, there's still reserve notes. I'll be glad to use them. But I'm telling you something. I got everything I need, so it's really irrelevant. But think about it. These people, these gurus, if they're charging their brother, man, do they really know what the fuck they're talking about? Just ask that question. Ask them. If you know what you're talking about, then why are you charging your brother? 
That's all you're doing when you're asking for money. Hey, you want to come to my conference? Hey, $500 a seat, brother. I'll be glad to talk. I'm glad to talk anyway. I'll tell you what. You want to have a conference with the Batman? Well, you guys find a way to get me there. And you know something? I think I'll do it. I'm getting bored sitting in this bat cave anyway. I, I, I'll do a conference. But it, it, you guys got to want it. And you guys figure out a way to get me there. I'll be there. How's that sound? <laughs> you know? But other than that, man, what the fuck are these guys doing? If they got it and they know what they're doing, what the fuck they need the money for? Who's delusional here? Huh? Did I lose you guys? No, I'm here. Still here. Still here. I'm just asking, any guy, any of you guys got any idea who's delusional here? Could it be the Batman? Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> Matt, what were you saying about Wendy, uh, about the vehicle she was using? Something yeah, they, they, they took it on her, yeah. Did she, uh, obviously she must have said something, uh, yeah, well, she must have argued somewhere or something, or in a yeah, I, Well, I don't know the whole story, but I heard tell she even sent the title in. I thought I wanted to send anything in. She said somebody sent her a letter saying to send the title in, so she did it. Me, personally, I kept the title. It helps, you know, some people believe in the illusion. I'd have that title to show them. I, I'm using it. What, what, what right do you have to that, you know? Just a piece of paper. But the point of the matter is, what's that piece of paper mean to the individual you're dealing with? Say. Hmm. That make any sense? Well, but yeah, but if they're if they're going to bring the claim, if they're going to claim, well, yeah, <laughs> that's right. And I want to know who bought the claim. And I want to authorize it. But I got this piece of paper here that says this name here has got use of it. What are you guys doing taking it? Yeah. You see, I've been down, well, kind of down this road because I didn't have a driver's license, but they took. They took something dear to me. It's called a 1989 Sportster. And before I knew what I knew today, boy, but it's part of the learning. But I didn't have a driver's license or an ID or anything. And all I had, I said, well, when I go get this bike, they took it. It's it's part of the training. But I went down there with the title. And that's all I had. And they wanted ID and this and that. They asked for it. I said, I got this. Is this enough? And boy, they looked at me and, and they gave me the motorcycle. You know, it's kind of like an heirloom. It's the first, well, it's not the first Harley. It's the second Harley I ever allegedly owned. And, it, it, you know, sentimental value. And uh, I went down, I paid the deal, but I showed them the title. Because I thought for a minute there they weren't going to give it to me. And so I pulled the title out. I says, here, that worked. And it worked. <coughs> they know me in the neighborhood now. I'm... I'm I kind of doubt that'll ever happen again, but it seems I got a plate on it that says, or reads, a private use of right-of-way on it now, but I have yet to go right around on it, though, to be honest with you, boys and girls. I'm just thinking of going down, what I'm thinking of doing, if I really feel the need to start riding a motorcycle again, I'm going to take the title I got down there, and I'm going to say, hey, I'm an inhabitant here, and, and, and uh, I got this motorcycle I want to use. How can I use this and register it, you know, uh, and stay in honor with everybody, you know? Because they're looking for Tennessee state citizens and this and that to register. But what if I just got a motorcycle I want to use? You know, you guys, I bet you they'll give you a plate. I bet you you get to go and use it anywhere you want. Think of it is, you got the balls to go down there and just ask a couple simple questions? Huh? That's Me? Key is your question. Yeah, I'm lacking. Okay, I have yet to do it. I ought to. Maybe I'm just uh, waiting to get locked up again and see where that goes. I don't know. I'm, I'm fucked up. What can I tell you? Well, I think that's where uh, being poor, uh, quote unquote, um, 
in, poor. in monet- monetarily monetarily poor. Is poor it, just a state of mind? Well, but it it, it would be, uh, you know, could potentially be to an advantage, or you know, because at that point, you know, you really have quote unquote have nothing to lose. I mean, now I'm in a, uh, you know, at least I, I, I'm pretending right now to be in a better position or a better state simply because we're earning more Federal Reserve notes. Well, are but, you pretending or is that what you believe? Speak well, up. that's, you know, well, it, it's interesting because, um, you know, we're still, you know, no matter, you know, how long... You know, you study and you learn this stuff or whatever, you know, there's still that part of you that's still in the, you know, the old mode well, because you still go out and you still go out in the world and, you know, being of the world or being in the world rather. And, uh, you know, you still, oh, everybody's still oh, peddling oh, those green pieces of paper. You had it right the first time, I believe. It's of the world. Claim of the world. Said. Okay. All right. The thing is, could could we be made up of the so-called twelve disciples? I don't know how much you studied the Bible. But I, I have I've studied heard. it, but not not uh, not as much as I've studied this. Nowhere, nowhere near. Yeah, allegedly I've studied the Bible. All right. Okay. And there. Better than anybody else who the fuck knows. The point of the matter is, I find the twelve disciples of the Bible is what each individual is. We're divided in it. The point of the matter is, which one's ruling the show, running the dog and pony show? If you're letting any one of the 12 disciples run the dog and pony show, then it sounds like to me you're not listening to the Christos, the 13th floor. You ever watch Revolver yet? No, yeah, I've heard you talk about it, but I haven't seen it. Yeah, you get a chance. Sit down with a bowl of popcorn, man, and kick back and pay attention to what they're saying. Get over the effects, which they're pretty neat, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. But listen to what they're saying in that movie, Revolver. Because okay. it all comes down to the 13th floor. <laughs> it's the choices you make at the moment. And at the end of the movie, Jake Green is before the judge. And what's he do? He more or less said to the judge... If I offended you, would you please forgive me for insulting your intelligence? And if you see at the end of the movie how the so-called judge, he was the casino owner. But if you saw at the end of the movie how he reacted, what more is there to say? (laughs) Well, you know, I thought about doing that with a bill, you know, sending a, just putting, writing right on the damn thing, you know. The, on the remittance, just write, forgive me, you know? Well, it's a remittance. The point of the matter is, maybe all you had to say was, I agree. What more can I do to help you settle the matter? I know uh, I've heard remittance. Think about Robert it. Menard talk about remittance as, a, as actually, by definition, a form of payment. Well, no, a remittance. It's all, maybe all they're doing is asking for confirmment. They're just seeing if you're claiming ownership or you're using it. Remit. In other words, we got a question here. You claiming ownership or you're using it? Could it be as simple as saying, hey, yeah, I used it. Anything else that can help settle the matter? <clears throat> that make any sense, boys and girls? Yeah, it does in my opinion. You know, something to think about. It's a remittance. Just a, they believe there may be a controversy. People love to claim ownership. I believe at least two-thirds of the world is claiming ownership. I believe the great awakening that's happening is is what's happening is, heck, all these fucking states, uh, Canada, uh, Great Britain, Africa, they're all fucking illusions, man. We're all on this fucking little rock. Somewhere in a fucking galaxy, and we're using it. You know? What's the issue? If you watched old war movies, there's some of them. I wish I could recall some of them I watched, but the men in charge are asking, you know? What side you on? Or, you neutral? Are you an inhabitant? What's the prime directive of Star Trek? Don't fuck with the inhabitants. 
The thing of it is, are you acting like one? They will know you by your fruits. They will know you by the way you act. Is that making any sense, boys and girls? Oh, yeah. So, if you're claiming ownership, could it be you picked a side? <clears throat> well, the, this is where the rubber meets the road, though, you know, is, is actually going out and saying, okay, you know, yeah, I I, I understand, it, you know, I, I know what you're saying, and it makes complete sense in my mind, and based on, you know, the research that I've done and... Well, let's listen to you. See, you're still talking in ownership mode. In my mind, is it true that thoughts occur... I have no idea. Well, then how could it be yours if you have no idea? You just told me you have no idea. Well, so, I, I don't know where I don't know where inspiration comes from. I, it, well, well, there you go. The thing of it is, but I you're it comes me from the divine. Wait, now listen to what you're saying. Okay. But you're still sitting there saying, in my mind. No, I said I think it comes from the divine. I, as far as I, as far as. You know, you know what is the soul? You know, this, Descartes said that the pineal gland was the seat of the soul. Well, the soul's sitting in the within the brain. You know, within the the skeletal, you know, cavity. Well, legend. And yeah, well, you know, and so you know the how to do. The thing of it is, it's the the pineal gland. Could that just be a, a transceiver? Absolutely. Well, if it's a transceiver, then did you ever have an original thought? Yeah, well, that's, you know. I, I, I don't know. I, just thought I mean, now we're getting. <laughs> good night, guys, 12. Are you saying, thank, I'm sorry, I just read in the chat here, somebody's saying good night. But, you know, I mean, where do you want to go with this, man, you know? And once you start realizing what the fuck do you know, I don't give a shit where you're at, man. Where's the controversy? What can I do to help settle the matter? If it's possible, I'll do it. Right. You know? Right. And I don't think you find you deal with everybody like that. You can find life's, you know, you can find you're enjoying the moment. That's my experience, anyway. And what else is there other than enjoy the moment? Like the Borg says, resistance is futile. Yeah. I love Christians. You mentioned communism, communism, and they get all bent out of shape. But if you study the scriptures and what Christ was all about, he was saying, "Do what you love and give the rest, so everybody can use it." I'm confused. Help me here. <laughs> Am I mistaken or, you know, yes. please enlighten me. I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. Um, thank you guys for calling in. I still, I'm good for another hour. Well, I think that that to, to my to my way of thinking in my mind, and the way there you go again. Well, <laughs> in, in in the mind that I'm using. <laughs> let me let me rephrase that. The mind that I'm using. Yeah. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> uh, I think that uh, you know. We're all in this society. We're, you know, trying to improve things um, because, it, it, at least in my perception, I don't want to be part of the problem. I want to try to be part of the solution. Well, could it so be I'm right trying off, to. I'm trying to wait learn. A minute, uh, wait a minute. Could it be right off the bat? You think there's a problem? Well, and again, you know, the problem could be my perception, or oh, or no. the percept or the perception that I'm using. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. See, that's part of the re yeah, re okay. re of the mind. Here's the deal. That's right. That's right. I've been that's laying right. on people lately. Uh, 
my perception anyway, if I own such a thing. I always like to say I, if I own such a thing. <laughs> I don't know if you remember when when, when children, the, the, mostly the boys of the house were always called masters at one time in the world, right? It would appear so. Yeah, you know why? In my opinion, they were called masters. Because they were, they were just uh, mere babes. They were always asking questions. Think about it. What mm-hmm. do children do? Ask questions. Gee, mommy, why is the sky blue? Gee, daddy, why do you gotta get a driver's license? That's what I remember asking them questions. Gee, daddy, um, uh, what do we need money for? Well, you know where to come when you need something, he told me. But anyway, that's another story. But you know. Out of the mouths of babes. Yeah, the thing of it was, how come children are called masters, and then somewhere in life, all of a sudden, we're answering to sir? I like to know where I got demoted. Or mister. Well, mister, sir, whatever, either right. or. It's a right, demotion. But all of a sudden, all it's of a sudden, demotion. Demotion. it's a demotion. demotion. Wait a minute, it's a demotion from master. How did I become a sir? Because I answer, I tell you, I give them a hard time at the store. Thank you, sir. I says, what do you call me names for? Did I call you anything? <laughs> well, it's polite. Polite to who? Did you ever ask me what I thought of the word sir? Well, how do you know it's polite? You know? Hey, assumption. <laughs> but that's another story. But I don't know if you see where I'm trying to go with this, but where did we get demoted? We did, we did. We did a mist roll in, right? Could it be when we decided we knew more than somebody, everybody else around us? I'm reverting back to the childhood. I don't know shit, man. I got a bunch of questions for you, brother. Teach me. Well, it, it would appear as though that's when the uh, the ego might have stepped in and said, ooh, you know, I'm an adult now and I know everything and I can go and do as I please and I can drive a car and I can drink and I can, you know do all of these things, and now I know everything, and uh, okay. whereas, you know, we, and and then the term, you know, that kind of the mist rolled in, the mister, and suddenly we uh, find ourselves with all of this responsibility and having no idea who we are. Yeah, could be. That's, you know, it's something to consider. Yeah, yeah. That's why I... Like I tell, I try to tell people, man. I go into court for any reason. I'm here for that matter. That's what the lawyers taught me. Who watch the lawyers? Yeah, yeah. I'm here for that matter. Okay. And then I believe there's a mistake. Now who's going to argue with what I believe? And the main thing, judges, I'm here to help settle this matter honorably, if possible. What more can I do for you? And see, now I'm in the question mode. I'm in kindergarten, judge. Well, and you know, it's interesting too when you when you look at the bottom of any tax form that you're quote unquote required to sign, it'll always say this knowledge this this information is true and correct to the best of my belief and my knowledge and belief. <laughs> now, who's going to argue with your knowledge and your belief? Yeah, you just admitted you owe the tax, so pay it. Well, but I mean, you know, if if, if they came back and they had something to you know, they wanted to create a controversy and say, well, you know, geez, do you, did you really... Yes. Did you... Wait a minute, wait a minute, see? Now you're blaming others. They wanted to create a controversy. No, see, the thing of it is, have you been listening to the back calls? Yes. Okay. No, I can't... <laughs> I can't now, admit that I understand them all, okay? Think about it. Who creates the controversy? Well, I guess the filing of the tax form would be creating a controversy, wouldn't it? Because you're making claims. Not necessarily. That doesn't make controversy. The controversy, (laughs) I believe, begins when you go before witnesses, you know, other so-called incessant or other beings, and you you claim ownership. They'll they'll call out a name, and what's most people do? That's my name. Well, what did you just do? You came before the court. You claimed ownership of something. You claimed a controversy, and you gave the court jurisdiction. Right. Could it be that's right where you just gave the judge enough evidence? 
to do whatever he needs he thinks it needs to be done at the moment. You just told the judge he's captain of the ship. And then you want to ask for his fucking old office. It's like asking him, hey, when's the last time you beat your wife? You know? Think about it. Could it be that simple? Oh, I I I tend to in my humble opinion, I, I tend to agree with you. As a matter of fact, we uh, probably about 10 years ago went in and started down that road and, uh, you know, kind of the it ain't me thing. And uh, it was interesting because the judge had to sit back in his chair. The attorney got up and said, I want a ruling on this. I want to know if this woman and the name are the one and the same. And the judge sat back in his chair and he contemplated it for a minute. And this was like a pro tem judge, you know, and. Boy, he sat there for probably a good solid minute. Kind yeah, of, what know. the fuck do I do now? <laughs> yeah, rubbing his rubbing his jaw, you know, and or rubbing his chin, you know, hmm, looking at it, and finally he says, hmm, yeah, yeah, I, uh, I'm convinced that they are. Yeah, yeah, I'm convinced that they are, and I'm like, what did he happen? Well, he just gave an opinion, and what did you do? <laughs> Went along with it. Yeah. At the time. At the time, yeah. I had a process yeah. server come to the door before, you know, had a badge around his neck and everything. And... Oh, wait a minute. Back up. Let's not get uh, too far okay. ahead here. Here's All a right. good point. The judge said he believes so. And a very simple question would ask the judge is, is that a judicial determination, judge, or are you going on the preponderance of the evidence? See? And I'm uh-huh. dying. What are we doing here, judge? You got first hand testimony, you know? Your right. tacit right. response, you just said crucify me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. It it would seem that way, yes. Anyway, yeah. if you like. Well, it was definitely uh you know, it it definitely is is gives you pause for uh contemplation later on because I mean, you know, ordinarily, if there was nothing to any of this, then the judge would have just said, or any sane person would have said, oh, of course they are. This is a ridiculous, you know, this is ridiculous, you know. But the fact of the matter is the guy had to sit back and contemplate it. Well, so he, right was, <laughs> he was weighing the situation. It's a good yeah. judge. Yeah. Sounds like you had an honorable man sitting up there. I have a question. I'm happy for you. <laughs> in that case, if you're in court and you say, I'm here for that matter, and the judge say, all right, well, since you're here for the matter, can you state your name for the record? Well, judge, please give me an example. What do you mean by state a name? State a name for the record. We we want such and such here today. Well, the thing of it is, John judge, Smith. wait a minute, judge. You know, we want to get a meeting of the minds here. What do you mean by state a name? Judge, could you please state your name for the record? Give me an example. He won't fucking do it. I'll put dollars of donuts on it. Well, no. Donuts are getting expensive. <laughs> but think about much. it. State Not only that, but what evidence do you have that I own anything, right? No, wait a minute. Now, the judge wants you to state a name. First of all, when he says, would you please state your name for the record, I'd be asking him, what do you mean by you? You talking to me? But another thing is, well, give me an example, Judge. Could you please state your name for the record? Think about it. He won't do it, or they won't do it. And if you say, I want to be an honor, Judge, and then the judge says, okay, if if you want to be an honor, sir, today, here today in this courtroom, so we can get further along with this procedure, can you state your name? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. See, you said, I want to be an honor. Every man is a liar. I'd be saying, Judge, I'd like to deal with this matter honorably. How can I help you? Back up, see? Listen to the way you're talking. Hmm. You're telling them the way you want it. They don't give a fuck what you want. They want to see if you're in honor or not. And the only way you're going to show them is by staying in honor. And when you start telling people what you want, guess what? You're in dishonor. Think about it. Okay, hmm. next. Next. Go ahead, continue, please. It just seems like as as long as you phrase everything in the form of a question or present everything in the form of a question, and like you said before, you know, you uh, remain like a a child, like a master, like uh, as king, 
then uh, you know you're you're not making any claims, you're not making any statements. And um, the thing of it is, what, the, 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 not to interrupt you, brother, but sure. the, the, the individual that was speaking, please continue. I like to stay on point with him. Maybe we can sure. help sure. him understand. No, I think I'm pretty much done. I was just um, thinking, like, what would a judge actually say? If you were saying I'm here for this matter, if, if, if somebody's calling your name and you just stand up or you say I'm here for that matter, and See, then somebody, you walk into the wait bar. A wait a minute. See, you said somebody calling your name. <clears throat> well, you got to get over I'm, them thoughts. Yeah, that's true. But that's I'm thinking opinion. that they're going to assume. I'm thinking that they're going to assume, even if you don't say the name or not, just just for you saying I'm here for that matter. I'm thinking that they're going to think, well, this must be him then because ain't nobody just going to come in this courtroom. Oh, that's all right. It's, it's, like, it's, it's, a, it's irrelevant. It's when you get before the bench. I'm here for the matter of the name. And, it, you know, and it won't, you know, if it's not your name, why are you here? Well, I believe there's a controversy. Somebody believes I own something. Judge, uh, I mean, you know, what's the procedure for dealing with a witness? I mean, there's all kinds of ways you can deal with these people. The thing hmm. is, are you an honor or you think you're getting out of something? They're going to figure it out, man. You're the first witness. You're going to tell them whether you're getting out of something or you truly realize that, hey, I'm just fucking using this shit, Judge. Where's the controversy? Bring them up here. Let's discuss this matter. <laughs> you know? Um, one of the other issues, too, I, I know that a lot of people uh, seem to get tripped up on is that... Uh, they feel as though they have to have some kind of an immediate response rather oh, yeah. than just yeah. sitting back and collecting their thoughts, or not their thoughts, but, you know, yeah. collecting. You know, and, and uh, I, I recall um, reading a transcript before, I believe, and the uh, the guy was taking taking his time, you know, to, uh, or taking, take, you know, using time to, uh, to gather gather thoughts and uh to to come up with a uh, an intelligent uh, response uh or, or you know at that point in time you know at uh, what I don't recall that uh, he was asking questions but he was thinking about what he was going to say and and the uh, prosecuting attorneys came you know spouted up and said hey you know okay we're going to you're going to make this guy talk judge or whatever and he said no you know cuz the guy said you know would can I can I have a moment to collect my thoughts just about every time they'd ask him a question, the guy would take like 10 minutes to answer, 10 or 15 minutes to answer. And the prosecutor was getting, you know, perturbed. And he said, you know, are you going to, you know, we're going to tolerate this judge. And he said, no, I think he's doing very well. I think he's very intelligent, you know, and he's, yeah. I'm going to give him all the time he needs to answer his, you know, to, to collect his, to gather his thoughts. So, you know, a lot of people go in, I think, thinking that they have to have this, you know, rattle it right off. Yep. They'll give you all the they'll give you all the time in the world. They're in and I do I mean, Batman and that's one of the things that I want to thank you uh, for because it was actually you and um and listening to uh, uh Gordon uh turn me hundred and eighty degrees, you know, the judges are honorable and they will do the honorable thing and but you know, they'll they, you know they'll they'll try to get you, they'll try to trip you up. It's a big test. Eight they'll try to trip you up. It's a test. They the want to see what you're made of. The only one that's going to trip you up is you, if you ask me. Yeah, that's right. They, well, it's like but you, like you say, you know, they're going to find out what you're made of. They're going to find out you know where, where your heart is and uh, and whether you're truly honorable or not. And and they're gonna they're gonna test you. It's the te you know it's like that's what that's what we're all here for, man. This whole thing is just a big test. The whole your whole experience on the planet is a big stinking test. Every day you're tested. You're tested a thousand times every day. But when it comes down to the big show, you know, I mean, uh, that's. I think most people, you know, they live their lives the way they want to live them, and uh, and whether or not they. I just prepared. find most people. Most people think they know more than everybody else, and those are the ones. You know, who who am I going to argue with? How how can I argue with you if you know more than I do? Yeah, I mean, who am I to disabuse you of your beliefs, right? And that's yeah. all the judges sitting there. Well, you know so much. How come you're going to psych about it? <laughs> well, and that's where 
you know, trying to get, uh, trying to just trying to get right, you know, trying to get right in your in your head and in your heart. And uh, wait a minute, think about this way: trying to get right. That's the ego speaking, if you ask me. The thing of it is, keep keep talking yourself out of it. Well, yeah, I definitely can get analysis paralysis. That's for sure, and that's. I mean, I've been there most of my life because, uh, you know, I, I think it has. To, it depends on the circumstances too. You know, I mean, if uh, if well, I was now single. You're blaming, now you're blaming something else. See how you are. Well, but you know, it would be. Yeah, I think it would be a lot uh, more straightforward. Hey, hey, hey think, just think about this. You ever study math? As as, as little as necessary. But the point of the matter is, you know what the least common denominator <laughs> means, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, when it comes out to the least common denominator, are the circumstances really relevant? <coughs> well, you know, when you, when you when you look at the circumstances that you find yourself in, and then ne- ne- the, the very next day, it's like, uh, well, you know, your well opinions then tend to change because you might see something in a a different light. Wait a minute, minute. I think you're getting off point. When did I ever mention anything about opinions? I asked, when all comes, push comes to shove, the least common denominator, is anything else relevant other than the least common denominator? That's what I asked, I believe, something to that effect. Uh... Well, the point well, is always by assumptions, so. Yeah, the thing of it is, the least common denominator is, who did I offend? How did I damage anyone? And if I did, where are they? I mean, what more least common denominator do you need than that? Right. That makes sense. You can bring up all the other, what do you want, smoke and mirrors, I like to call them, or bulls, or bat quantum, you know? The thing of it is, what's the issue here? Did I offend somebody? If I did, please, let's speak about it. Let's see if we can settle this matter honorably. Could that be too simple? <clears throat> no, I I don't I don't believe so. As a matter of fact, I think that that's probably where the uh, bulk of the bulk of the problems come in. Is that you know we've forgotten? Uh, Forgot. I've, for, I've forgotten. Forgotten or refused to realize because the ego's there. Look at all this shit I learned. What am I going to do with it? Huh? Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Or chosen to ignore, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. Watch, watch Revolver, man. Sit down, get a bowl of popcorn, get comfy with the so-called wife or whatever you call friend, and listen to that, what they talk about in that movie. Never mind the theatrics. Listen to the words. I think you'll see things in a different light. Was, Ever see that, the the movie The Adjustment Bureau? Oh, I believe with, I might have. Yeah. With uh, Matt Damon? Yeah. That was a yeah. newer one. Yeah, but The Revolver, man. Watch The Revolver. Well, that was good. That was a good one, too. Uh, if you get an opportunity to check that one out, that was a good I one. Have, I've seen it. I'm just saying, watch The Revolver. I believe yeah. that's a, that's watch it a few movie. times. Yeah. Revolver, yeah, watch it a few times. Take yeah, I need to. I saw it once and I could see needing to watch it two or three more times. It At tells least. you a lot of things, you know, but that we already know. It's just, are you, if such a thing exists, are you paying attention? Well, you know, I think one thing that was interesting when uh, I was, I, I uh, read an article that uh, Alfred Adask had written a number of years ago with regard to uh, you know trusts and trust relationships and what have you, and it does it, it resonated with me. It made a lot of sense. You know the fact that there is no more <clears throat> excuse me lawful money. There's no more, which means there's no more lawful consideration, which means there are no more contracts, which means that everything is based on trusts. And everything, you know, we we all trust each other, you know, and it really kind of seems as though to me that we've gotten back to the way things should be where, you know, we're trusting our brothers and everything is is basically trust, you know, and you uh, going into court anymore, uh, there are no 
no more courts of law. They're all courts of equity. And the uh, the uh, give me a break. Uh, the, 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 the plain, the, but the, yeah, I mean, you know, it it kind of makes sense in a way to me, simply because, uh, well, you know, you, if, if you look at the, uh, uh, you know, I mean, if you if you're simply asking questions, I mean, what is a beneficiary? You know, you were talking about uh, children before being masters. And typically, children uh, children are never trustees; they're always beneficiaries. If if you're going to have a if you're going to have a but trust I, relationship, you know. I can't have that. What's that now? Children are always beneficiaries. What evidence do you have of that? Well, I I don't have any. And then why would you say such a thing? Well, I, it, it would appear. Let me just rephrase that because I. In, could, you, could you be delusional? I <laughs> could be. <laughs> okay, I just asking. I need to know. <laughs> I could be. I, you know, am I? I don't know. Uh, what I th- talking about courts being equity and all that? I don't know. From what I see, it seems like the courts can slip into whatever so-called jurisdiction you give them. That's what yeah, it appears. Well, that, yeah. <laughs> That 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 makes Admiralty, sense. equity, royalty, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Sure. That's just what it seems like. And talking about the least common denominator to me, <clears throat> again, for, uh, you know, in the past month, from what I've seen, some more so-called evidence of uh, it, it's the name issue. You know, it's just right. that's the least common thing. No matter what so-called jurisdiction the court wants to be in, if you can stand on point. I I don't see what they can do. Well, the, yeah, the thing of it is, you know, it, 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 the name's just a good guitar, baby. You know? Yeah. The thing of it is, who owns anything, Judge? You know? Right. It's like, you, could you please state your name for the record? And you ask the judge, well, Judge, give me an example. Would you be so kind to state your name for the record? Yeah. Huh? Duh? Yeah, Damn, whatever. Buddy. Yeah, but I have a name. What do you think that you're asking him? Or do you think Wait that you're probably smart? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You think that hey. you're talking to your smart ass. Well, I'm a smart ass. Judge, what's that make you? <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know, the thing of it is... Is that a crime to be a smart ass? <laughs> I'd say that to get a reaction. The point of it is you're a smart ass. Well, Judge, what do you mean by your? Yeah, who's your? Yeah, you're talking to everybody in this room? You're talking to me? Or are you talking about you? Huh? Yeah, you're grown ass. See? We run on assumptions. The thing of it is, stop running on assumptions. I want a meeting of the minds, Judge. Is that a crime? Yep, that's another thing I picked up in uh, the latest, uh, you know, background stuff. I was, is the name, and it's all friggin' assumptions and, and presumptions. Yeah, and by your response, gives the judge, he goes on the preponderance of evidence. Out of your own mouth, you confess. There you go, or by your lack of Yeah, or yeah. by your lack of silence. Or with the game change, if they time. bring you in court, handcuffed already? Well, I like what's the question. Know what I'd say? Thanks for the bracelets, judge. How come you don't have a <laughs> <laughs> These are nice. Well, I like what Gordon, like what Gordon Hall says. He says that uh, you know they say that silence is golden, but he says to me silence is deadly. Well, oh. silence is golden. I guess it depends. If you're the judge and someone's asking, diff- you know, like it, 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 silence is golden, if they're not going to ask you questions back, you know, right? Yeah, I, I like that exactly. part of the so-called Constitution. I plead the fifth. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's one of the things I found out too. In the well, I don't know, did I find it out? I mean, but I heard that the Constitution don't even apply to none of us. I mean, well, oh, wait, I already. Wait a, wait a minute, you're speaking for everybody or yourself? See, none of oh, us. Oh well, it depends. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To well, I I think the, I think maybe the way like. I know I used to think it applied to me, 
and it may be generally the way people think it applies. I don't believe it does anymore from what I've seen, you know. Well, I like to ask him what evidence they have the Constitution. That's why the judges get all upset, bring the Constitution up, point of the matter. Yeah, they that's how you get it out, because it ain't got nothing to do with you. You didn't sign it. Well, <laughs> yeah. The thing of it is, you know, the point of the matter is I'm just there to help settle the matter honorably, Judge. Yeah. Fucking Constitution or no Constitution, what relevance does it have? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you, another... you come in there as a witness. Yeah. <laughs> the first witness against you. Right. I'd agree with that. That would Is that it... would seem so, yes. Yeah, and like I say, look up uh, witness tampering. You know, you're trying to get into the courtroom and they're giving you a hassle to get through the door because you ain't got no so-called ID or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm, a wit- I, I'm a witness. Are you stopping a witness from... Wait a minute, is this the way you treat all witnesses? Right, yeah. yeah. What's the look on their face? You never said you was a witness, you just asked them. What that oh, yeah, do? okay. Assume for a change. Yeah. And it, Again, asking questions. <laughs> well, when I, looked up, when I looked up witness uh, tampering in the, the, the law dictionary there, it That's says message. Mess, messing with a witness before, during, or after they give testimony. <laughs> That's a no-no. Yeah, I might always be on my way to give testimony somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, people. It's so simple. It's pathetic. you got to go in there and love these people. Forget the fucking government. Government only exists in the minds of men. It's like a fucking Santa Claus. If you believe there's a Santa Claus... Who am I to argue? Or it's like crossing the state line, you know? Oh, you 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 yeah. came across the state line with that. Oh, really? Can you, can you show me was, the state line? It's funny. I was on uh, Google Earth today. I didn't see no lines. <laughs> you know, you cross over the line from Ohio to Michigan, you know, and all of a sudden it says, you know, Michigan welcomes you. You know, do all of a sudden get this Michigan feel or something? No, I mean, you know, nothing's changed. It's like going outside and, oh, people are, oh, it's Thursday. Oh, and tomorrow's Friday. Well, wait a minute. You know, I mean, if you didn't have a calendar and you didn't have a watch, how, would you have any idea what the hell day it was? Yeah, what is, what is all that? Hey, I got it. It's bat day, man. Every day's bat day. Yeah. Every day's bat day. <laughs> there you go. Next guy that asks me what day it is, I'm going to say, hey, it's bat day. <laughs> what, I might ask, what day do you want it to be? Why make That's right. Who well, might argue with your opinion? <laughs> what day do you think it is? <laughs> <laughs> what day do you want it to be? <laughs> that reminds me of that new movie that's coming out, you know, and there's a com it's a comedy and he said uh something about he was leaving work early or something and he said, Ah, it's Friday somewhere and it was like Tuesday and he goes and the guy's like, No it isn't <laughs> How does he know? <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> well, Anything. I know. I know. There was days I woke up. It was. It, it was a Thursday, and I thought it was a Saturday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I must have been a must have been a hell of a lot of beers that day, huh? That's when I got up and looked to see if the motorcycle made it home without me. Was... <laughs> I remember doing the same as a kid, and Mom just got a kick out of watching me panic and try to get dressed on a Saturday. <laughs> Can't say I, I was just going to say, the first time I come down to so-called Tennessee, I hitchhiked down here, right? And these guys, man, I, I wish I could meet up with them again. I, they're even still alive. I fell asleep in the van. I hitchhike, you know, it's freaking long. I don't know if anybody ever hitchhikes, but it can be grueling to an extent. But I woke up in this guy's van, and I'm listening to the radio, <laughs> and, and uh, they're playing something that happened two days ago. And like I said, where the fuck am I? I'm recording of a radio station two days old, I think, or something like that. And I thought it was that day. And I said, what, where did, what did I miss? <laughs> Man, what's 
one's perception. Who the fuck? What calendar are you going by? The Gregorian? Yeah. Or what? Yeah. You know, I mean, it's one's perception. Side what rail. Have, yeah. What evidence do you have there is a calendar? Is there such a thing as time, or is uh, it's just what one perceives at the moment, huh? Well, yeah, speaking of perception, I hear it told that, you know, the reason it's so hard to swat a fly when he's sitting there is uh fastest you can move your hand to him, it looks like it's going through molasses, you know, like it don't move all that quick as far as the fly's concerned. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's why I wait to the fly have a few sips of the drink, and then I get them. Yeah, there you go. Slows them down. <laughs> I worked with a Jamaican dude, so-called Jamaican. He told me that's how they used to catch rats. They would lay a bottle of overproof rum out. The rats would actually dip their tail into the bottle and then lick the overproof off the tail and get drunk enough you could just scoop them on up. (laughs) Bow down, brother. It's all good, man. You know, think about it. It's perception. Think of it is. Here's the thing of being a magi. If you can get one to believe your perception at the moment, how can you lose? And how else are you going to do that by ask, but other than asking them what they believe at the moment? I should be telling this stuff. Somebody might shoot me for it, but then again, I have yet to swear an oath or allegiance to anybody that I'm aware of. So, but think about it, people. Perception, mighty powerful. Most people, it is. Well, most people believe they work for the government. But I think when you realize that most people that believe they work for the government, when you realize they're your brothers and sisters, now you've got something to work with. Narrow it down, at least common denominator. Why argue with the government this, this, and that? The thing with his brother, would you really like to be treated in this manner? And if you would, you know, what did I ever do to offend You hear me? Yeah. Could it be yeah. that simple? The cop on the curb thinks he works for the government. Well, good. I'm happy for him. The matter, the matter is, what's the cop to do with me? How can I help settle this matter? We all stay in honor and nobody gets hurt. You see? Get the government out of it. The government's a fucking illusion. we got to start looking past the illusions around us. What is real and what isn't real is one's perception. I find, like talking with you guys, I believe in my perception is I'm talking with brothers and sisters. See? Real people. You might believe you're a government agent. Well, I'm happy for you. point of the matter is, if I treat you with honor... What the fuck has the government got to do with it? Why claim to be anything? Well, but some people believe they need to. The point of the matter is, if you ask me, is I'm, you know, I'm doing all I can to help settle this matter. And that compassion for one another. You know? They believe they they wear a uniform right off the bat. You're going to make the assumption they believe they work for a, a fiction. Well, that's the way I look at it. The point of the matter is, well, I'm happy for you. I'm over to fiction. I want to know what we can do at the moment to settle this matter honorably. Fuck everything else. What relevance does it have? Pay the fine. Is that making any sense? Yeah. Yeah. Defined honorably as uh, no burden upon anyone. There you go. Right, that makes sense to me. And as long as you're not putting a burden on anybody else, could it be you get what you put out? Yeah, I had a discussion with a guy the other night about uh, people's so called, you know, uh, disabilities and ripping off the system and. Why aren't you mad? Yeah, yeah. Why aren't you mad about it? Me and you are paying for it. And I'm like, whoa, whoa. I'm like, what is all this paying stuff? Yeah, what are we paying? Yeah, what evidence do you have I paid for anything? 
Oh, and forget it. The conversation went kind of south from there. I mean, I believe I might have stopped. It made him think a little bit, but it was oh, just, you know, hey, I believe it's all been paid for already. What do I care what anyone else's claim? <laughs> it's like one part in the scriptures talks about, uh, the so-called Bible there, talked about these guys got their fucking... Six o'clock in the morning and started working, and then these guys come around around twelve afternoon time, and they worked half a day, but they all got paid the same. And the guys who started at six was pissing and moaning. And but the guy asked them, "Hey, you agreed to it, man? What's the fucking problem? You know? Uh, you know? Instead of worrying, they're worrying about, hey, how come these guys can get paid the same for what I did? The point of the matter is." Maybe it would have been nice to say, hey, I'm happy for you, brother. You know, you come here, you got what you needed. No, they were too worried about, hey, fuck, I was all here all day. These guys got the same pay, man. They're fucking, yeah, you, we're, we're, you know, it was. We're going through some, well, some people I know, you know, myself, going through some of that with uh, contract negotiations. We got uh, an agreement with the company and the so-called government is, like, looking sideways at it, like, oh, people are taking cuts and losing this and that, and you guys are getting 3%, like, well, we asked for it, like, <laughs> you know. Well, the thing of it is, I'd be asking them people, what are you bitching about, man? You yeah, know. well, that's that's the you thing, know. yeah, I don't get mad when I find out. You know, some guys are making X amount. Good on you, you know what I mean? Is it excessive? I don't know. Then maybe other people need to be brought up, you know? Well, the thing <laughs> is, wait a minute. Is it excessive? How can anything be excessive? Because yeah. it's a fucking illusion anyway. The question yeah. is, do you got what you need? Think yep. about it. Yep. You got what you need. What are you bitching about? Usually that shuts them up real quick, you ask me, but. I, well, I had a friend ask me today about, she says, oh, you're going to love this. She says, uh, I, I really need to get another car, and I have this government, you know, or not government, but she didn't know it was government or state-run, so-called, until she tried to withdraw money to get something she needs, you know. And they says, no, you got to terminate your position to take it out. It's a lot. I'm like, you know what? I don't know what to tell you, but maybe start asking questions like, hey, I'm in need of a vehicle. Like, what are we going to do here? Like, we have not because we ask a miss. Yeah. yeah. I'm still trying to figure out the right people to ask or correct agents, brothers, sisters. Well, I know that's where I was talking, or uh, not talking with, but listening to... Uh, some of Boris's information, and he was, um, I, I, if I recall, because it's been a while, but he was talking about um, doing some uh, maybe at the steals and things like that, and doing some paperwork. And I thought it kind of seemed to go contrary to. Um, I don't know. In a way, I don't know. It seems to me, though, if you're gonna, uh, in a sense, get the fiction off your back. Not that you need this stuff. But I think that, that the paperwork might kind of be necessary so that you can deal with the fiction in your everyday hey. life and not hey. cause the only a reason scene. There's, a, there's the only reason you believe there's a fiction on your back is because you believe there's one. But that's, you know, right. I, yeah, I heard tell Boris. That might be the wrong way to put it, though. But the thing of it is I heard tell Boris doing that here and there. We didn't discuss that matter much, I think. There's a few people that I've talked with that avoid discussing that matter with me because maybe they don't want to hear what I got to say about it. Who knows? Well, what do you, yeah, I want to hear what you have to say about it. What do you What do you think? I think it's all fucking bullshit. Point of the matter, deal with the moment. Exactly. You know, exactly. And, and, and you know, you want to give notices. You want to go around and ask questions. Like I'm saying, I'm thinking of going down to motor vehicle department, and saying, "Hey, I'm visiting here. How can I use a vehicle?" Without causing harm to the public, or or you know, or or, or staying on or doing it, maybe it could it be that simple? Just go to these officials and say, "Hey, this is what I believe I am, and how do you deal with people like me?" You know, could it right. be that simple? Right. Yeah, I love that approach. I mean, that's exactly. That's uh. And why would why would you need you know? And and isn't paper fiction anyways? I mean, you know, paper is just uh, 
you know, it just uh, appeases people for... To me, yeah, if, but... to, to me, if you're using paper for anything other than leave a note with the so-called officer or, or somebody because you couldn't talk to the one in charge at the moment, other than that, if you're using paper for anything for that, except wiping your ass, I think you're fucking up. No. No? I want to give first-hand testimony to one in charge that can deal with the situation. Other than that, what the fuck is it for? Exactly. Well, that's... You know, you know I mean... Common, least common denominator, man. Think about it. Right. It's all I mean, fiction anyways. I mean, you know, even... It, it seems anyway. So I, I don't know where a piece of paper would, would be of well, any benefit. Could, could, could the stupid pieces of paper be just like a ritual just to go through with them to, you know, well, maintain the illusion? If that's what you believe, if you're using them as idols, yeah. Wow. But if you're just using them as to memorialize an event, in other words, well, to leave a note with the secretary that says, hey, I want to talk to this judge. Well, to, mem- to memorialize the event with the whole fiction that, hey, I get it, I'm over it. Wait a minute, like, wait a minute now. Memorialize an event, it's got nothing to do with fiction, if you ask me. Yeah, they would be real things, the memorials. Yeah, it's well, just saying, yeah. I was here, here's what I wanted to talk to the judge about. Could you set up an appointment? That's all you're doing. And, and don't it? you really want them to handle the paperwork anyways? I mean, and because, you know, we... Yeah, I, I know I've heard a lot of people get in trouble because they go in and they try to, you know, impress the judge with their knowledge, and then next yeah. thing you know, they're in behind bars. And it, to me, paperwork just seems like, you know, ooh, I'm doing an apostille, and I'm doing this, and I'm doing that, you know, and it's like, wait a minute, yeah. okay, so is, is this your paperwork? Yes, it is. Oh, really? Yeah. You no, just right, you just claimed ownership. You just blew it all right down the tubes. The point it's yeah. that way. I wonder if it's not just background paperwork. Oh, like, I don't know. It's, it seems weird. Background paperwork, all right? You yeah. Heard Let's think about this, all right? Maybe this will help settle this matter. Resensions of a signature, right? Mm-hmm. You believe in resending your signature? Whose signature is it anyways? Yeah. The matter is, by resending the signature, could that be an admission that you had an agreement? Now you're backing out? Yeah. yeah. It seems that way. Yeah, I never the looked at it like that. Right? Well, the point of the matter is, could it be that, hey, what evidence do you have that I ever claimed anything? Or could it what be I'm just rebutting their presumption? What What's there to rebut? I asked them. What that they presume I'm going by all this nonsense. No, you a mind reader? No. <laughs> Oh, but to, to rebut uh, okay. presumption, though, are you are you making statements when you you know are you deposing yourself when you or are you being allowed to be deposed well, when you asking, rebut statements? Asking or, a question. Oh. The thing of it is, you're rebutting an assumption. So you you're a mind reader. How else are you gonna? What else are you? You're thinking they're thinking a certain way. Wouldn't it be simpler just to say, hey, what evidence do you have that I ever had a contract with you? Yeah. Uh. You know, well, like, but to, but well yeah, right. what evidence do you have would be the presumption killer. Yeah. Well, exactly, exactly. Let me, let me back up here. This guy, I don't know if you guys ever heard of George Gordon. I yeah. used to study him quite a bit. He's got his own uh, law school and... Yeah, my, yeah, you know, something, something like if that. He listened, yeah, if he listened to the back calls, I think he might learn something. Because one thing he mentioned is he couldn't figure out how to get out of a fucking marriage license. And you know, all I got to say is how to get out of marriage license? <coughs> one simple question. What evidence do you have that there ever was one? Right. All right. And this guy, he I hear he gets pretty good bucks. People pay a lot to go talk to him. Well, to go to his law school, it's like uh, he, he, he charges everybody gold and silver. Yeah, like it really means something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can't eat it. <laughs> well, well no. you can but too much of it. Wow. Oh. <laughs> a little hard on the, the choppers. <laughs> but it, I learned from these guys, man. Believe it or not, his old fart. Well, the body well I know. He, he, made, he made mention, uh, I know I listened to him many, many moons ago, and he made mention about, uh, you know, the fact that nobody was ever drafted in this country. And, you know, and he said, you know, uh, 
It's all consent. It's all, it's all voluntary. And, and, you know, but you talk to some of the old timers. I asked my dad because he was drafted, you know. I said, so what would have happened if you didn't, you know, take step forward and take the oath? Well, they would have thrown you in prison. I said, oh, really? That's what he believed. Exactly. Can, can, you, can you, you know, do you have proof of that or what? You know, and then they look at you like you got, you know, two heads and. Yeah. You know, the, yeah. you're the you're the black sheep of the family because you're asking but, too many questions. You know. And there's you just hit the ego, man. And when you hit the ego, most people go right in the defensive mode. You're a fucking idiot. Well, thank you for. Yeah, your just like that. It's just like that one guy you said you were talking to uh, and started yeah. asking him about. You know, <laughs> you, you is it possible you volunteered for that? You know, or what have you? You know, oh my God, you know. Yeah, we're gonna lock you up. You must be feeling guilty for not uh, going going forward. Exactly. Do you agree to go to, to prison, right? That's I'm going to hear. I, I learned <laughs> yeah. at the end of the trial, they asked me, was everything cool? You agree to all this? That's what yeah. you read? Well, the and defendants, I please that. rise. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Am I a loaf of bread? <laughs> <laughs> what do I have, a yeast infection? How can I rise? It's like the last race I went to, the Bulls, <clears throat> in Bulls, Tennessee. Please stand for our national anthem. Well, I sat down. I bet I was the only one sitting down in there because I had to think. What makes you think it's my national anthem? <laughs> Nobody said a word to me either. That was interesting. I was hoping somebody did. I liked the Yeah, there was, there was a story about that recently about a, a guy didn't stand up and some Marine got all bent out of shape and grabbed him, and the guy tased him, and now he's on, He's uh, they got him up on uh, uh, felony charges or something. He was he was allegedly yeah, p- running off at the mouth. Uh, I, who knows? I wasn't there. I don't right, know. Right. I don't know. Oh, I'm, the, wondering the why, yeah, yeah. I'm wondering why the story was given such prominence. and It was but, interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, it made the yeah. national news for crying out loud. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, like the guy, you know, I I heard a story about a guy who was sitting there, and uh, you know, the whole through the whole trial, never said a word, never never acknowledged anything, and then the judge finally said, "All right, uh, well, the defendant, please rise." Of course, the, the attorney stood up, and then he's standing there yanking on this guy's shirt, you know, like, "Oh shit, you know, I got to get this guy to stand up, <laughs> otherwise, right? Otherwise, he would have." You, you must be the defendant. <laughs> hey, there you go. Hey, good attorney, you. I guess you're. Ready to accept full liability for your actions. <laughs> go, go, you know, going to, people, yeah, people, going to the court. Yeah, going to know, turn yourself. A lot of people get all upset because they allegedly point you to a public defender. Fucking, that, I'm glad. Whatever. <laughs> it's someone to talk to. <laughs> no, think about it. Are you prepared to accept all liability for your actions? Oh, good. If he's representing the name, guess who just meddled in the case? Uh, guess who's liable? Yeah. You know, the, another thing, another trick question, if you ask me, is, you know, we got to send you for a psych eval to see if you're competent or not to deal with this matter. I got one well, question, for you, Judge. <laughs> judge, what makes you think I'm competent to handle your affairs? No. Nope. Huh? I don't I know. Just, I come well, here in this matter. I believe there's a controversy concerning me, but I have yet to hear anybody point it out. What's do you the swear, problem? Do you swear to tell the truth? Hey, whose truth you want, Judge? Huh? <laughs> the uh, whole truth? Do you swear to tell the whole truth? Well, wait a minute. What do you want? Do you want the truth or do you want the whole who, truth? Who knows the truth? To, <laughs> you know what I'd say to that, Judge? I'd say, Judge, did you ever hear the guy called Pontius Pilate? <laughs> what is truth, he asked. He was the judge. Yep. I've heard it said if, if you know the whole truth, maybe you would be in the book you were swearing on. That's hey, right. That's judge, right. I, judge, if I knew the whole truth, I probably could say poof and you'd go away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it, well, and that's another good question. Is there something that I could say here that would make all of this go away? <laughs> judge, I wish you would se- yeah, there is, Judge I wish you would settle this matter honorably unless you have a proper claim I think it all belongs to the creation and I wish right. you to discharge it 
What's the problem? I wish you'd discharge this. Let him discharge it. Think about it. I don't want to be an impedance to the discharge here. Judge, if I'm an impedance, please tell me what I'm doing wrong. I definitely don't want to be a capacitor. <laughs> you're not going to say that you're not going to pay this fine? Hey. I got That's the other thing. Hey, 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 hey. hey. I got to be a capacitor every now and then. I've been known to fart. <laughs> Well, you know, that's another, you know, I mean, you think about the very terms that they use every single day. Fine. You're going to get a fine. Well, who's it fine for? You well, must have, if, if you agree to it, isn't it fine with you? <laughs> right? That's a good point. Everybody's happy. Yeah, I mean, you know, hey, here's $100 for parking in this handicap spot. Is that fine? The thing oh, of it is, though, gee, I guess. The thing of it is, though, and, and, and I'll tell you, my so-called mentor, the, one of the first calls I had on the back calls was the peacemaker. When right, he went right. to court, it was trying to get him to pay a tax, and he, he just asked, Judge, tell me, how can I pay it? It's mainly all he asked the judge. And the judge looked at the guy bringing the charges and says, I'm done here. <laughs> well, I, believe he, I believe he handed up the paper bag that he had brought in as his briefcase. And... Yeah. Uh, Asked the judge to write right on there how he could pay. And yeah, I'd be glad to. I'm here to help. <laughs> there's another. There's a. There's a. You know, I I collect court cases and stuff, and and uh, I mean, it's, you know, I go, I go back and review them every now and then because it really kind of helps with my resolve and all this. And and there's one uh, so Montgomery Ward versus William Glacier, I believe it was, and the guy. Uh, went to court and he, the judge said, because uh, his wife had he, had, he got a divorce and his wife ran up like fourteen hundred dollars in credit card charges at Montgomery Ward before she left him, and and he said, uh, you know, I've, I've uh, entered a judgment against you for the amount due, and he said, well, wait a minute, judge, I got a problem with these dollars. What do you mean by dollars? And he says, well, let me clarify it for you. You know, I've entered a judgment for Montgomery Ward, uh, you know, for fourteen hundred dollars, and he said. <clears throat> no, 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 wait a minute, Judge. He said, no, you know, a, a dollar is a unit of measurement. He goes, you know, if I ask you for a pound of something, you're going to say a pound of what? If I ask you for a yard of something, you're going to say a yard of what? If I ask you for a gallon of something, you're going to say a gallon of what? And I'm asking you now for dollars, and I need to know what these what these dollars are that you're asking for. He And he got perturbed, and uh, he said, listen, he goes, you can make it anything you want. Make it coffee beans for all I care. I heard that one. Yeah. All right, and then there were like forty people in the in the gallery that were with the, with this guy, and they had all you know been studying together and whatever, and all their jaws dropped, uh, you know. And the judge flipped his pencil up in the air and he said, "Ah, shit." Well, then the guy ended up sending, you know, Montgomery Ward, or so or, or so the story goes. Uh, you know, fourteen hundred coffee beans. You know, one bean to certified one bean to the dollar or whatever. Well, you know, the thing about it was though too that I mean, here's here's the problem. No, there was an agreement, and he fulfilled his yeah. end of the bargain. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> but, but what but what's interesting though is he, he before he said you know make it coffee beans he said you can make it anything you want. So the only thing that this guy heard was coffee beans. But the problem was that he could make it anything he wants. In other words. You know, there it, it's it's an illusion. It's whatever you make yeah. it. Fourteen hundred hey, sheets wait, of toilet wait, paper. Wait a minute. Exactly. Now, wait a minute. Now you want to take that little scenario and do one better? You want to really simplify it? Okay. Judge, I'd love to pay you, but what evidence do you have that anybody owns anything? There you go. I like that. Uh, fuck the rest of it. Least common denominator. Yeah. That breaks See? it down even further. Sure. All right. Yeah, I know. It, story. It's a good one. If you don't, if you don't own anything, then how, know, can, how, I can, you, how, can, how can you pay how anything? Can, how can I pay a tax? Did yeah, anybody ever pay a tax unless you claimed ownership of something? All right. It doesn't isn't uh, isn't uh, the state exempt from tax? Uh, what's the state? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> minute never mind. Yes. Does the state even exist? Well, but so so called ownership in the state, right? I mean, it, 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 I, I recall, I don't recall where that comes from, but so, all so-called ownership is in the state, I remember. Well, hearing. some so-called public law, if you want to listen to that. Uh, okay, sure. So let's you guys, pretend... Hey, 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 do you guys yeah. believe everything people tell you? Huh? 
pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Used to try and trying to get away from that, but uh, hey, come as a little child, man. I'd love right, to help right. settle this matter. What can I do to help? And possibility the law is not required, man. Remember that. Keep that ace in the back pocket, man. Yeah. How, was, the, yeah. how can I pay you? What evidence do you have that I own anything? Right. I'm telling right. you right there. That statement. After all said and done, if you fucked up everything, you asked the judge that question. And I'm telling well, you it's going to stop. That question ties right back into the, the so-called public law that the judge goes by that yeah. you don't own nothing. <laughs> oh, That's right. Yeah. Can you prove you own anything? Yeah. I mean, it ties right back oh, in. You can't prove you own anything. You think the judge is going to be able to prove it? The thing right. is, did you ask him? Well, but see, this is where I think getting back to what we were, what I was talking about before about the, the whole trust thing, you know, is that if you're if you're claiming ownership, then you, you're you're coming in at basically with uh, you're the every, everything is everything is based on, or I believe uh, I've heard that uh, everything being based on divided title, uh, ah. equitable versus. Never mind all uh, legal. They mixed all. They mixed all. All everything's mixed together. The courts can slide into whatever so-called <laughs> mode. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and they're not doing anything wrong. They're not. No, they're no, 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 absolutely, no, absolutely. It's just wherever your mind goes, they're going to follow you wherever your mind mm-hmm. goes. I believe, right? Yeah, yeah they're I mean, seeking out, seeking out your intent. Pick your poison, right? Who's, Pick your poison. Who's, the, who's the first witness? Right. Yeah. Well, so, but, but let's, let's, in talking in terms of, of being a, a master, being a master. Now, what does a master do? You know, because the, the problem comes in when you come in and you make claims, right? No, wait first, a minute. For, the first you claim is that you're claiming your name or, or no, a, a name. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. One question okay. at a time. You asked what a master is. You want, you want Batman's opinion on what a master is? Please. A master. Um. I remember. I remember when I was in grammar school once, or not grammar school, high school, this one teacher says, you're awfully wise for a young man. And I said to her, a wise man would never claim to be wise. That make any sense to you? Yeah. If you're a master, would you claim to be a master? What was the sense? Anyway, I just had to add that in there. Food for thought. All right, so if a person stay on point in court and everything, how is the court supposed to settle the matter? That's well, it is. you care. <laughs> Don't they it have the ability to settle it? It's, it's their the job. Wait a minute. The court is not there to settle the matter. The matter is, do you have a controversy? And if right. you keep claiming ownership, there's a controversy. And you keep saying, beat me, master, instead of saying, hey, how can I help you? By being master, you say, how can I help you? I don't know. I don't know how to explain it to you guys. Well, if there is no money, and uh, and all it is is, 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 you know, really a mechanism to get people to, to, you know, live with one another and honor each other and to grow up and and to be... Be human, or be, 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 you know. Then, then, you know, when you go in, I mean, what do you care, really? I mean, if, say, for instance, it's a, it's a, it, you're getting sued for something, or the name's getting sued for something. I mean, that first of all, the name doesn't belong. You know, in, in my humble opinion, the name doesn't belong to me. So, but you're, you're going to be in there because you're, there is a controversy, and you're going to try to help them resolve the matter because you're, you're, you're there honorably, and you want to help them resolve the matter. Or show them and, that there's no controversy in the first place. Exactly, and 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 so now all of a sudden, whoever is bringing help, the claim, help them. Help them. And, right. So whoever's bringing the claim, you know, they can uh, the the court can deal directly with because doesn't the doesn't the judge uh, rule from the bench? Bench is just Latin for bank. So he's the he, he's the banker. Yep. I mean, hey, you know, judge. He... hey, Judge, if these guys got a claim on a name, where's the issue here? Where's the controversy? Yeah. Well, I laugh. What are you going to the court for? Charges. 
<laughs> told your oh. bank to be charging <laughs> fees and yeah, who's charging up the account? Yeah. And the only reason I go to court is because I believe there's a controversy concerning me, and I'm looking for evidence. And the only way I'm going to find evidence that I have created a controversy is by asking questions of them of what evidence they have that I created a controversy. What can I do to help settle this matter? Does that make sense? And at some point, you've got a new dating man up. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I don't know who's got the back there, man, but I'm going to mute your ass. There you go. Thank you. 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 I think the more you get into it, and the more you internalize it, the easier it probably would become. I mean, it's uh... my burden is light. Yeah. Think about it. I went through years. I got fucking buckets of paperwork, studying statutes, fucking looking for a way out, and it dawned on me one day. My burden is light. I have yet to do another piece of fucking paperwork, and nobody fucks with me. <laughs> I probably fucked up somewhere along the line, but I'm happy. <laughs> Who can ask for more? Well, really, when you think about it, you read those passages in the Bible, and you're like, "Wait a minute! Do they do they do they apply to somebody completely different? Did they did they was this for a different era or what? You know, because when it talks about things like that, it just seems so pie in the sky. My burden is light. I mean, whose burden is really light in this modern commercial world that we live in? I mean, if but only we're because we're all the ones taking the burden on. Really? Yeah, exactly. Listen, listen to this scripture, this guy, guess 14, or guy, woman, whatever you want to call yourself. But put in a scripture out of the Bible. Now, I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to add something to it if you guys be patient. But And he said, Woe unto you also, ye lawyers, for ye made, or for ye laid men with burdens grievous to be born, and ye yourselves touch not the burdens with your fingers, or whatever. The point of the matter is, could we be the problem? Could we be studying these laws, laying it on those around us? Could we be the lawyers? Hmm? Absolutely. See? Well, I now, mean, who's the problem? See? Well, I think, think in, in terms of, I mean, let, let, let's pretend for a minute that, that all of a sudden your your life was your or the life that we like to call ours is is perfect. I mean, this in this particular go around, I happen to believe that reincarnation is a fact, but that's a whole other issue. But let's say, for the sake of argument, that all of a sudden, boom, you won the Mega Millions lottery. You know, I mean, would everything be perfect? Would you want everything to be perfect? Don't people look for drama? I mean, you know, I mean, they got you got TNT on TV, you know, and it says, oh, we know drama. And, you know, you're driving by a car wreck. Don't you slow down to look at it and everything? I mean, people are constantly looking. To my way of thinking, you know, the, the lawyers, you know, I mean, people want to vilify these, uh, you know, the lawyers and the judges and all this stuff and the, and the cops and, and whatever else in the military even. And they say, look, you know, but... But the bottom line is that people, they, 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 those people are just the man in the mirror, I believe. You know, they just, uh, they're just—they're giving uh, us exactly uh, what we want. They're giving us exactly wait, what wait, we want. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There is no man in the mirror. It's just a reflection. When people realize that they're the man, now you got something to work with. But what I find is, it's, it dawned on me a, a while back. <laughs> Being an error is just an excuse to point the finger at somebody other than yourself. Think about that one. But anyway. Yeah, could it be the ego? Hey. Or the ego don't let you point at itself. Whatever. Well, the ego to me is a necessary evil. The ego helps us learn how right. to deal with it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah nothing's really evil, nothing's really good. It's a Whereas the Where's the dividing? Where's the dividing line, really? It's all good, man. It's all education, you know. It's all you know, between That's sunrise and sunlight or, 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 or dusk, if you didn't experience both of them. <clears throat> yeah, you couldn't know the other. It's education, brothers and sisters. It's just you know, the thing of it is, 
I think the biggest problem people have is they're blaming everybody else for their choices. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we got, if you think about it, it's the choices we make at the moment. As a matter of fact, I remember I remember hearing uh, uh, when I was doing some research on, uh, you know, um, reincarnation, that sort of thing. Uh, there were there are people that actually have had dreams, and they've they've in their dreams they've met their children before they were born, and they actually sat down and had a conversation, and they said, you know, that that, uh, and then they the, the children when they grow up. They'll actually comment on that, and they'll say, "Yeah, I remember when we—I met you before we were born. You remember that?" Cool. And it's like, "Wow, you know, yeah, wow, I remember that. Yeah, I, I and and yeah, I chose you. You know, I so I mean, even if you really want to get into the nitty gritty, you know, we're even choosing uh, who our parents are going to be. And you, know, you look at some of these kids and you say." Oh geez, you know I feel terrible for them because they're you know living this particular life and they're you know they don't have any opportunities and they what have you. But you know the the fact of the matter is, what proof do you have that they didn't actually choose to be in that particular situation to learn what they needed to learn? Yeah. Beautiful, I like that. That's yeah, yeah. I agree. With that scenario. I mean, they all, who knows? Concur. Yeah, who the fuck really knows? The right. point of the matter is, what are you gonna do at the moment? It's your choice. Right. That's all we really got. Fuck this rights bullshit, you know, and, and uh, yeah, the rights bullshit really gets me now. I used to think, yeah, yeah I had rights. But what rights does one really have? And who, and when you say, oh, this is my right to have this and that, oh, I've read that, or I've, you know, that's that was written down over here or whatever. Well, who the hell wrote that down, and who, what other man... Uh, whatever sentient being that's uh, occupying a physical form had any right to give you any rights anyways. And, well, uh, these rights came from God. Well, prove that. I mean, how do you know that God gave us these rights? I mean, you know, it's all it boils down to, and again, it, in my humble opinion, is it boils down to, you know, whatever agreements that you make with your fellow, you know, earthly inhabitants. Yeah. What I mean, you know, there's... It's the thing of it is, you know, it's... You know, what evidence do you have of anything other than the moment and what you do in the moment? Yep. yep. I mean, other than that, what is there? That's right. Why can't we all be friends, like Rodney King says? Why can't we all just get along? Huh? You, ever, you ever remember Rodney King, anybody out there? Yeah, yeah. He still went out and fucked it up. I thought he had a point, but... It's like John Lennon. Imagine there's no country. I say it's harder if you do. Mm-hmm. What's a country? Somebody's perception. Or perception. Yeah, but look what happened. Look what happened to him. Well, maybe. <laughs> hey, time was up. You know, he made maybe a deal. Was, <laughs> who knows? Might have been dishonorable somewhere. Huh? Who knows? Or maybe him getting shot like that was make it put an exclamation point on what he was trying to tell people. So somebody pay attention. Who the fuck knows why? Yeah. Was it yeah. good or bad? Is there right. such a thing? I mean, where do you want to go with this shit, you know? Right. Does that make any sense? Well, and where does the soul go after the body uh, shuts down? I mean, you yeah. know, they talk about past, they passed away. Well, they pass. Well, they sure. passed over. You know, you just go to a different, uh, who knows? I mean, new beginning. That's right. Yeah. And, you know, the I think Hindu if you're, I think if you're a fuck up, you get to start again. I think if you got it right, you get to go to other galaxies. But then again, what the fuck do I know? You know. Yeah, that Earth may be the prison planet. <laughs> yeah. Earth is the, the D block of the galaxy. <laughs> Could very well be. It might look like a pretty little blue marble in the fucking uh, galaxy. But man, that's the last place we'll go and watch. But fucking fuck if I'm gonna live there. It was... <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I remember seeing a comedian talking about Earth must be on a fucked up planet tour. Like, oh, don't get out of the spaceship. Like, <laughs> the comedian. You're, talk, you're talking about the. Uh, Oh, what's that movie now? The Watchmen. The comedian? Oh, I don't Watchmen. know. No, I'm not sure. Like, I don't remember who the guy is, but he was doing a stand-up routine. 
Yeah, you get a chance. Watch The Watchmen, the movie The Watchmen. <laughs> I've wanted to see that now for a while. Well, yeah, I've been it. I've been happy with the Batman's movie recommendation so far. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't already attach, allegedly attach myself to answering to the Batman, <laughs> I, I'd be the comedian. Watch The Watchmen, the name of the All movie. Right. And, and the comedian, man, he fucking nailed it. He was so the hey. first. He was the first one they killed. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah. <laughs> so hey, uh, getting back to Boris, you, you know, I know we talked a little bit before about, um, or I, I had heard you, you guys talking before about how he's actually like been in contact with the agents or some agents. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, is he still in contact with some of those guys? I, mean, I think I heard last time that one of the the agent that he was talking to was actually promoted or some some such. And I mean, when, yeah, what I ultimate, heard that. Ultimately, what's going to happen with with him? Do you think? I mean, is he going to get to the point where? The hell knows. Uh, you know, I mean, it, what? Uh, it's it's definitely a fantastic yeah, but, journey. Hey, you know what I told Boris? I told him you're already there. It's just a matter of whether you realize it or not. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, he, uh... Explain that, Batman. <clears throat> Explain it. Hey, Charlie, how the fuck are you? Hey. Good night, Bill. What, uh, explain it. The thing of it is, he's there, he's got their attention, and they're just waiting for him to make a wish. You know? I like it, Chuck. And he has yet to make the wish, and I don't blame him, because you know something? Be careful what you wish yeah. for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So he's in the contemplation mode then right now, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, that's, if you want an opinion from the Batman, yeah, you can you can quote me on that. That's what, Boris and I, you know, I love Boris and he's had his moments, but I'm telling you, my opinion, he'll be all right. He'll be just fine. Uh, this whole trip is full of moments for everybody, like. Well, it just kind of seems like the ultimate uh, ultimate journey, um, at least in the physical, uh, or what we perceive to be the physical um, realm, you know, going through and, and actually... Oh, the needs are met, you know, without any worries, and it's like eating yeah, again. Exactly, you know? exactly. And what I find, what I find well, funny about Adam and Eve, though, is that they just left. They never... Ask for forgiveness. Here's the point. Who's keeping you from doing what you want to do? Right. That would could be me. <laughs> right, Charlie? Yeah, I vote for me. Yeah. I love this. I got this bat call going here. You know something? Nobody cuss, comes and cusses out the Batman. I must be fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or people are starting to get it a little bit. Uh, people always got it, man. The thing of it is, when you want to blame somebody else because you made bad choices, well, yeah. you know, you want to talk to Batman about it, that's probably the last one you want to talk to about it. You know you're fucking guilty. Why well, go there? <laughs> I got no problem with starting over again, but I just don't want to make the same mistakes I've made before. You know, I want to kind of go in the right direction. You know. It's not starting over again. How can you start over if you always always was? Huh? No, uh, yeah. well, that's true. That's true. Intra- I, I, you know, again, poor choice of words. Uh, I got to uh, choose my words very carefully when I'm talking to you. <laughs> no, you will never, you will never <laughs> succeed. <laughs> it's good training ground, though, right? <laughs> yeah, very, very good training ground. <laughs> the point, though, who's beating up on who? Who's the one accusing who? Huh? Who's the one that keeps yelling at me? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, you lead me to believe you're still listening to that mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking, Batman. Oh, okay. I stand corrected. But the point of the matter is, 
Who's accusing who? Uh, who? I, I, if, <clears throat> I forget who was talking before Trolley. Uh, uh, what do you like to be called? Well, are you talking to me? Could be. Um, Just you know, I, 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 I called <laughs> myself uh, on on uh, on Skype, uh, Magnum PI, and the reason I do that, first of all, I, I think. I uh, Fucking reasons. I just want to know why you. <laughs> all right. Well, well hey. I'm just there. trying to give you some background. That's all. I mean, the guy uses a Ferrari. He never owned a damn thing, which was totally cool. Oh, you know, got, but, but he got use of a Ferrari. They were use telling of a, us something. What's that? I'm, try, I'm trying to get to a point here. All right. Okay. Listen to okay. what you were talking. Who's okay. accusing who? Yeah, you're accusing yourself. Da duh? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Now who's the problem? Yeah, well that's uh, it it's a hard thing to swallow though. Well that's why I got a girlfriend. I let her swallow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the point of the matter is, <laughs> Oh man. Point of the matter is you start to realize now you once you realize who the problem is, now you got something to work with. <laughs> Yeah, I've known who the problem's been for a long time. So. If you keep blaming everybody else, what the fuck do you got other than to piss and moan about it? And what's yeah. keeping you? Yeah, and what's keeping you from doing what you believe you need to do? Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right. You see? So, mm-hmm. you know, I had I talked to guys on this and stuff, and I keep asking, "Well, you feel the need to do it? Why ain't you doing it?" You know. Well, because the per, the perception is, you know, that well, who's yeah, everything. That? Well, I know, I know, but you know, it's hard to get over that that uh, that perception hump. Well, I say perception, uh, full, full perception, side fear. Yeah, yeah, it's a dangerous mix, if you ask me. Say that again. I, Everybody I talk to, whenever, and even myself, myself included, it all boils down to fear. Well, yeah, exactly, because you know, I mean, well, especially when you, uh, you're, you're, you're in, uh, you've been in, the, you know, in, in, you're in charge of uh, three children, who are depending on, you know, and uh, or or however many children you might have or not have, but you know, are in, are. In, because they're certainly not mine, you know. I don't, uh, I don't claim ownership again. But oh, you don't. There you go, man. You've been listening yeah. to that calls. I don't claim ownership. Could you be lying? I'm lying. Of course, I'm lying. What uh, What evidence do you have that they're mine? How's that? That's better. Is that better? <laughs> but you already admitted to being a liar, so I guess we're. In- <laughs> <laughs> but can you forgive me? Can I forgive, forgive myself. Can, yeah, can you forgive yourself? That's the question. Yeah. Who gives a fuck if anybody else forgives you? <laughs> well, you know, you go in front of a judge, and uh, I think that's probably pretty important, isn't it? Oh, you go in front of a judge, but the judge is looking whether he's looking to whether you believe you're guilty or not. That's all he's looking at. Because if you forgive yourself, I'll put 10 to 1, the judge will agree. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, think about it. What a concept. Mm. Mm. You ever watch Elf? <laughs> ever watch what? Elf. 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 Yeah. yeah. Alien life form or whatever it was. Yeah. yeah. Back in back in the eighties. <laughs> what a concept. Huh? <laughs> hey, folks. Have a good night. I got to turn in. Good talking. Yeah. Thanks yeah. For hey, good. In, thanks for joining in, man. Yeah. yeah thank you. See Take you next care. week. Right. I'm gonna blaze too, guys. Thanks for uh, thanks for the uh, the food for thought, Batman. Really appreciate it. It's you know something. If you looked in the cupboard, you find it was always there. Think about that one, huh? I'll think about that, and I'll get back with you. I'm, um, you got you, are you gonna try to do these every Thursday night then, or is that eh, so far? So far. Yeah. If I'm up to it, ain't too fucked up, I'll probably get it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hey, uh, thanks again. Take care. All right. You too, brother. All right. 
Charlie, you still there? Everybody leave me. The fuck? Come on. There you go. Talk. Somebody's breaking up. Talk. I'm still here, but you answered all my questions. What do you mean I answered them? Could it be you had the answers? Now you're blaming it on me. What if I'm fucking wrong? I don't know. Then I guess I'm wrong, too. <laughs> the answers are within, brother. That's my opinion. One more That's time. right. I'll be on these calls for... Somebody put in here. Guess 14 put in here. Or King Batman. Fucking be your own fucking king. Stay That's right. Honor, That's all That's you got to right. do. If you're That's king... Right. Yeah. If you're king, what else is there? Huh? As That's king. Right. There you go. That's right. That's right. Who keeps saying that? Talk. Other than that, I'm going to play some music and call it a night. <laughs> oh, you can hear me now? I hear you. Yeah, I just got off the phone. I'm trying to save this girl's house. And the same thing. They don't know who they are. Keep well, on the telling thing me. Is, the thing of this, do you know who you are? Exactly, that's what it is. I keep on expressing that to them. I mean, make these guys know who their place is. Hey, back up, brother. Do you know who you are? Oh, yeah, I know who I am. You do? Can you prove it? No. Because well, I how keep do on you know? saying it. You know. Because I keep on changing. Do they? Or is the more they change, the more they stay the same? Yeah, could be. Could it be that you're trying to show others the way you believe something to be, but you have no proof of it? Oh, I got proof. Oh, well, you believe so, but how are they supposed to believe until they experience the moment? Well, um, I help them out with what they have to do. Well, that's what you believe, but could you be a hindrance? I don't believe. I don't have no belief. I believed in Santa Claus once, and that, guess what that happened? I believe right, in these, buddy. You, you told me you have no belief, but you told me you believed in Santa Claus once. I'm confused. Yeah. Then I grew up. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. yeah. Is that what you believe? No, I can't believe no more. You either know or you don't know. Oh. You know you grew up then? Yeah. Okay, help me then, because I'm still working on it. Tell me, what do I need to do to grow up? Well, you already you already went through it. What evidence do you have of that? I don't need no evidence. Oh, it's How your you? opinion. Oh, you're telling me what you believe now, right? No, it's not my opinion. It's not even my belief. Oh, you can prove you're it. You're out here you. telling them what... What they are. Am I? You probably know something, right? When did I ever tell anybody what they are? Oh. You're right. Can't really tell anybody what they are. You're trying to confuse me. It's all in the don't, mirrors. Don't take much. If it's in the mirrors, man, break them all. Then you got it. Huh? That's right. It's all in the mirrors. <laughs> Who am I to argue with what you believe? That's right. Could it ever be the one looking in the mirror? Could that be the problem? That could be. I guess it depends on what you believe, huh? Yeah. But you don't believe, so... I can't. I don't believe anymore. I don't believe anymore. Why? There's only knowing and not knowing. Yeah, but what do you know? What can I know? No, what do you know? Absolutely nothing. Why? 
That I do know. You got me a lot. Makes sense to me, though. Yeah, man, you're the only one who understands that. I just got off the phone with somebody trying to save their house. I, I just got... See, see, the thing of it is, you tell me, you're trying to save their house. Could that be the problem? They believe it's their house. Yeah, could be. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm listening. Yeah, but there are all stepping stones. Until you find out you don't have nothing. Then you could work on it. The thing of it is, people need to learn how to stop arguing with one another. You know? There you go. Stay in honor. Know who you are. I give up, man. If you ever know who you are, please tell me how you figured that one out. Point of the matter is, I think the main issue is staying in honor. How can I help Damn you? Now. Where was you when I started using this place? You know? If it make you happy, I'll move under the bridge down the road. You know? Yeah, that's true. Could be. The thing of it is, you know, I ask, you know. Why, okay. offend you if I'm using this place? And how did I offend you? Please forgive me if I offended you. How can we settle this matter honorably? See? That's right. Exactly. You, yeah, you start going in there believing it's your house. Huh? You're right off, in my opinion, you just kick God in the dick, like Boris likes to say. Yeah. People don't. They have to go through this. They have oh, to go through this. Oh, we all do. It's part of the yeah. tree. Yeah. Exactly. That's the next level once they understand this. But right now, it's me, 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 me. Mine, mine, mine. Like Daffy Duck. You ever watch that Daffy Duck that's, cartoon? That's book right. My, 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 my. Yeah, Daffy Duck got all the gold, silver, and whatever. He, mine, 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 mine. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. They tell us all. I learned this stuff from Cartoon Land. That's right. They don't There's tell a lot us of stuff in Cartoon. Yeah. And then people say they don't tell us anything. That's right. Whose fault was that, huh? Actually, the cartoons tell more more truth than the than the real stuff. I say most people more is there's truth in there that people fail to realize. You know? Mm-hmm. But who am I to say? Would I be judging my brother if I said such a thing? Well, at least you went through the cross. Cross. Cross is a choice, man. What side of the fence you want to be on? Well, that's what we went through the last three days. You ever felt yeah. different? I feel great right now. Well, that's good to hear. Good to see you. You're on this side of the cross. Yeah. Just who knows for sure what is right and wrong. The only thing you got is the only thing you got is can you enjoy the moment? Other than that, what is there? If you believe it's true what you're doing, then and you can sleep with it, you know, enjoy the moment, man. What else is there? Other than that, what is there? Mm -hmm. Present, past. Past is somebody's story, and the future has yet to happen. What do you believe? That's right. I don't know if it's right or not, but I'll tell you, it's a question I have for people. What you do with it, it's your business. Okay. Where are you at, Batman? What's that? Where are you in the now? Where are you in the now? Fuck if I know. <laughs> I'm here, man. Doing the best I can with what I believe I know. And that's all we can work with is what we believe at the moment. What is truth? Is Pontius Pilate asked Christ. What is truth? And what did Jesus say? Nobody said anything. Because could it be that truth is one's perception at the moment? How can you answer... What is truth? 
Exactly. That's, you know, it's a question. That's one question that really screws them up. Judge, swear you ain't. Swear to tell the whole truth, not much truth will help you guys. Just ask him, Judge, what is the truth? How fuck is old to him? Could it be that simple? <laughs> Whose truth you want, Judge? Mine? Or yours? Huh? Truth is just right. one's perception. Right. Think about it. That's the way I look at it. There's the only way to look at it. Well, that's your opinion. Who am I to argue? That's your truth? Who am I to argue with it? See? Think about it. Yep. Oh, uh, talk show just gave me a notice. Urgent system maintenance begins at 1 a.m. Eastern time. 2011, September 30th, 2011, as I believe it to be, I guess it is, system will be unavailable for about four hours. We still got a little time. That was nice of them. Oh, good. Remember, brother. If you're truly out to help people, there's only one way to help others. is to find out what they're trying to tell you. And can you tell me any better way than ask them a bunch of questions? Exactly. Remember that. I think it'll do well for you in this so-called life we're experiencing at the moment. Lost your trolley. Where'd you go? On the computer. I'm going to fade in the background. Trust law, man. <laughs> Speak up, trust law, man. If you'd be so kind. Yeah, Fist Nation, speak up. Either that or I'm going to play some music and end this call. Come on. How's it going, Batman? All right. It's going great, man. Yeah, good night, Batman. Meet a, meet, a, meet a Joker, man. Joker and try to baffle the Batman. Well, I don't know if I'm a Joker, but I'm a midnight Joker. Hey, we're all, we're all one and the same, brothers. I'm telling you, you know, creditors, commerce, all that happy shit. We're all creditors. We're all debtors, man. We're all one and the same. The thing of it is, can we stay in honor with each other? If you ask me, that's the trick. Well, I do my best. Hey, never mind. Do your best. Just do the best. The best is natural. It's nature. The thing of it is, when you think you can do it better, I find that's where I fuck up. Think about it. Does that make any sense? Yeah, I think it does. The best for everyone, man. Like John Kennedy once said, allegedly, or the name he answered to, it's not what you can do for your country, or how did he say it? It's not what your country can do for you. It's what can you do for your country, if there was such a thing. But if I have one. Like, if you break it, yeah, the point of it is, it's not what you can do for you. It's what can you do for those around you. Because by doing the best for those around you, could the best come to you? I'd like to think so. Well, experience it. Do it. And tell me how it works out for you, brother. That's true. I I mean, as far as I can tell, I mean, I can only say what my experiences are, and I don't want to set anything in stone, so to right. speak, but it's worked for me so far. Yeah. Honor. I want the best for everybody around me. Everybody wins, man. Where's the argument? Think about it. Love everybody. Could that be what Kennedy was trying to tell people? Could be. Who fuck knows? Hey, 